Konnichiwa, everybody. Konnichiwa. Hello, hello. How are we doing tonight, chat? Compelia, thank you so much for being with the membership. 10 months, let's go. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Have fun on your trip. Hope you have a wonderful time. Hello, chat. Konnichiwa. Hello, hello. It's time for fireworks. Well, it's, it's specifically just one firework. Not not multiple, just one firework. Yeah. All right, chat. This one has been recommended quite a few times. Finally got perms for it. I'm excited to try it out. Ooh. Sammy, or going to even give her a the membership. Here's to a wonderful new year for all of you. <gasps> Let's go. I can't believe it's almost the end of the new year. Or it's the, well, it, <laughs> words. I can't believe it is both the end of the year and that it's almost the new year. Man, it's gonna be... It's gonna be wired yet? I don't know. It's strange, like, just the thought that it's so, so soon, you know? Yeah. We need the one firework for the Elytra. Oh, yeah, just exactly one, though. Just one. <laughs> That was December already ending. It's the 17th. We're already halfway through December. I can't... It, it's just... It's mind-boggling, to be honest. Ameru, hello. Thank you so much for the membership. Welcome back. Let's do our best next year. I want to do... Like... Not New Year's resolution setting, but I want to go ahead and... Set out a plan for 2024. I have a, I have a feeling I want to do things... Like, I want to do things, but I don't know when or where or what time it would take. Because some of the projects that I want to do, unfortunately, will take up a significant amount of time. Um, just because the company's kind of slow. Um, but we already do that one. So, I don't know. There's a couple of things I want to do, but I'm not really sure. I want to like sit down, take some time to, to work through it all and sort it out. Z, hello. Thank you so much for your the membership. Ten months, let's go. Thank you, thank you. What kind of things? Just projects, um, like events that I want to host, and just I don't know. It's like the the direction my content should be going. I don't know. It just is just like there. You know, things I want to work on. Plan is not organized at all. It's important. Actually, the big idea of it, something like that. I want to I wanna take the time to sit down and just kind of reorganize my thoughts. Um, the last time I took a break and it was like, you know, like November. So it was like pretty recent. I, I want I want that again. I just need more time because now with 2024 coming along, there's a lot more stuff on the horizon. Just very nervous because it's new and out of my comfort zone. Good luck, good luck though. Yeah, that's exactly how you uh, grow and learn. You gotta push yourself, push those boundaries just a little bit, you know? That you'll be able to make it through things. I hope so too, I hope so too. Iris Lux, so Quady, thank you for reaping the membership. Excited to watch you play. I am excited to play. I cannot wait. I don't really know too much about this other than the premise that's shown at the beginning um, at the uh, the Steam like store page. <laughs> 2024 will be everyone's club year. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, chat. Let's make 2024 our year. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be difficult and challenging, but it's gonna be so worthwhile at the end of it. All right. Um, I don't have any announcements, I guess. Uh, sorry, I like stretching real quick and. Mm. resolutions for next year none yet none yet but like i don't want to i don't want to make new year's resolutions i want to make like concrete plans and those are like a, i feel they're a little bit different but we'll have to see we'll see yeah oh wait i do have an announcement chat um real quick for next week there will be no tuesday stream um, I have a important meeting that's coming up that I have to go and make sure that I pay attention to with Stavsan. 
Um, so no stream on Tuesday. So my streams next week will be Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I know I'll be gone for like a big chunk of the week. I apologize. Um, just like it's kind of how, unfortunately, the schedules kind of settle, settle down on us. But yeah. And then, hmm, I think the rest of it, uh, I still need to talk to with the other boys in order to figure out what's exactly happening, but I'll keep you all posted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, and real quick, before someone calls me out on it, I do have Minecraft in the background, but I'm not playing it. I'm just leaving it on there to AFK because I set up the new farm, and I want to make sure that it's working so that uh, I don't have to, like finagle, fiddle around with it, and like mess around with the thing um, afterwards. But it's AFK, okay? It's just there. It's I'm not like actually playing it. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, finish that cup. I'm gonna bring the other cup now. So that one had a whole bunch of coffee in it, which Probably not the best idea at 6 p.m., but that's okay. All right. Are we ready, Chad? Are we ready? All right, let us jump into Firework. I believe this is a keyboard game, so there we go. Yeah. Please let me know if the volume is too loud or too soft. Um... I think the engine that this is uh, this was developed on it's a little bit finicky, so I can't really adjust all of it. Or like individually in granular form. Alright, Chen. Let's go firework. <gasps> the game progress can be saved automatically or manually from the menu. Ooh. The names of characters and locations in the game are fictitious, any similarities are purely coincidental. They always put those disclaimers there. Ghosts relish devouring sins, possessing sinners, crushing their bones to suck their marrows, and imposing eternal suffering on them. Alvarez, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Ooh. Oh wait, hold up. I'm like, I'm too big. I need to like shrink myself. <gasps> Sakura, thank you so much for the 10 gifted memberships. Can we get some hearts in chat for Sakura and the gifted memberships? Thank you, thank you. I, I don't know where to... S do I... Oh my gosh, do I go on the ceiling again? I think I have to go on the ceiling again. Uh, Give me a minute, chat. And... Wait, wrong, wrong way. Wait, this way? I think this way, right? Oh, Sakura Mikage, thank you so much for the 10. Thank you for re the membership. Okay, there we go. This way you can see me and we don't, hopefully, we don't overlap any of the text. If I look this way, off into the corner, into like the emptiness of space that's because i'm looking at chat so like for me you guys are here i know you're over there on that side but for me if i look over this way you are here yeah all right left side would have been fine i don't know if there's a thing that pops up on the lower left hand side though uh maybe i'll see we'll see if if there's if no character art appears on the lower left side then i'll jump back down <clears throat> All right, this is uh, Zhang, Zhang Ming. This is just my luck. How did a perfectly functioning car break down all of a sudden? Oh, there we go. Zhang, the informant is still waiting in town. Do you want to leave the car here? There's no need to rush. Dealing with arson is not our responsibility. <sighs> this is just great. My car broke down. Captain Lou will yell at me. Captain Lou seems like a nice person. You just transferred here, so you have no idea how Captain Lou is like. 
If she finds out that the car had broken down, she'll say, I told you to take good care of the cars, didn't I? If you're chasing after a dangerous gangster, what are you going to do if the car breaks down? Can you imagine the consequences? I'll try to fix the car. I'm good at this. Alright, Zay. Thanks. We're colleagues, so no need to be so courteous with me. Ah, the flashlight is almost dead. Uh, Lishin? Lishin? Can you bring me a battery? There should be a small store on the street. Fine. Half an hour ago, a coffin caught on fire during a funeral in Qingtang town. The informant claimed that it was arson. Our superior has sent us to investigate the matter. This is my first time working as a criminal investigator. Ooh. The keychain. Hello, Cody. Thank you for being the membership. Welcome back. All right. Ooh. There should be a small store nearby. Okay. I like this like side scroller thing we got going on. Believe in science, not superstition. But superstition is so much more fun. Qingtan Town is secluded town of the mountains. I heard that they retained many superstitious customs. Superstitious customs. Ooh. Wait, Jack, can you hear this? Can you hear the steps? Can you hear his footsteps? I'm seeing the meter on OBS, and it's not, not really lighting up. I'm wondering if it's too quiet. Walking steps? Slightly? A little? Okay, let me raise the volume a tad bit. Alright. How about now? Can you hear those steps? <clears throat> I hope those are loud enough now. The ambience. Yes, yes. Oh, let's go. Yeah. There's a basin full of paper ash on the counter. The ember glows from time to time. Anyone here? I just woke up. What can I do for you? I'll take a double-A battery. There you go. Two yuan. Obtained a battery. Woo. <laughs> I'll bring the battery to tank first. A night. Oh, that was weird. The way the... Did you guys see the way the shopkeeper's eyes, like, glance at us? Zang, I got the battery. Thanks, buddy. I'll wrap it up here. You can go and check out the scene first. Since you're new here, you can take this chance to familiarize yourself with the place. Yeah. Okay. So while he fixes the car, we're gonna go check out... Ooh, look at the credits. The funeral shadows on the right. tell if there's anything like spooky happening. Did what? Huh? Did we loop? Didn't I pass this place a while ago? Hmm. Mysterious. Wait. <gasps> Whoa. Blood oozes from the wall. Why? Why is there blood on the wall like that? Okay. Hold on. Yeah, we definitely are looping. The embers glow from time to time. Ooh. 
was. Blood oozes from the wall. There are two banknotes stuck on it. Huh? Banknotes? That's the money I used to buy the battery just now. What's going on? Why? Literal blood money. Eerie. Alright, so this is the same. There has been a change here. I'm not sure if it's a free bunny glitch, if it's our money. It's a bulletin board, but it's too dim to see it clearly. Okay. Let's keep looping a few more times and see if anything changes what the... Oh. The blood is gone, and now there's a door. A rusty door up here on the wall. I... No, I, I definitely would. I would 100% enter. Prelude. Death. There's an unlit candle on the table. Obtained a candle. I have to find a way to light this candle. <gasps> okay, no, I thought I'm just seeing things. I thought the I thought the paintings were looking at me. It's a dead end. Wait, we can light the candle with the lit candle. Do you want to light the candle? Yes. There we go. I can see clearly now. I'll look around the house. Ooh. Wait. Now we can go back outside, right? Choo choo. Thank you so much for the super chat. Shinwei, this because of a big, big exam. I'm a little bit nervous. Need Shinwei big brain power to give me more energy and luck. Also, give me your brain. Love you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Good luck on your exam. I'm sure you do well. I'm sure you'll do well. I'm sure you have practiced and put a lot of energy into practicing and studying. Good luck with the exam. Good luck. I believe in you. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. All right. Let us get more knowledge of what happened here. Oh. Hmm. An obituary is on the bulletin board in the right in the center. An obituary. A volunteer teacher of Qingtan Primary School passed away at the age of 27. Culture of Education Office of Qingtan Municipal Government. The name is blackened out. Why, why would the name be blackened out? Hmm, a teacher? Okay. Let's take a look and see if we can find anything around here. Oh. This painting is almost reading a book. The paper doll is holding a ledger in its hand. September 23rd. Wang Shufen borrowed 500 grams of eggs and owed Wang Jinkai RMB 250. Okay. It looks like it's just shopping letters. October 4th, borrowed a bottle of soy sauce, owed 16 RMB. Whoa. What? Wait, why is our name in there? Lin Li Xun borrowed a battery and owed Wang Jing Cat RMB to. What? Why is our name on there? Oh. Borrowed? We paid. Yeah, we paid. Are we in debt? No, but we paid. Oh. Was the money on the blood wall them just kind of giving the money back? Like, we don't want your money. Take it back. Or something? That's today's date. Why is my name on it? What? Obtained a ledger. Some items can be viewed again on the menu page. Press X to open the menu. 
Oh, it looks so freaky. What? That's really creepy. Oh, I don't like that. The paper doll's face is covered in ink. Oh, it's ink. Okay, I thought it was... Uh, I thought it was blood. The paper doll falls to the ground. It's, uh, red ink, yeah. Oh, the door is gone. Okay, let's double check. Obituary of the bulletin board. Same thing. Volunteer teacher. Hmm. Oh. There's pieces of paper on the chair. Volume 1. Debt to the dead. If you take a dead person's belongings, you will owe a debt to the dead. If you don't return them in time, maladies will befall you. Or worse, tragedies will befall your whole family. Return them as soon as possible to avoid this catastrophe. Ooh, what the heck? What just appeared? Blood oozes from the wall. Two pieces of ancestor money are stuck on the wall. Ancestor money? Ooh. Okay. Ancestor money for the deceased. Oh! Like offerings? Like ritual offerings? Candlelight piece for lighting. Wait. Then where where's our friend? Is our friend okay? Because they're the ones that took that way. They're the ones that took the battery in the end. Toss the ancestor money into the basin. No, not yet. Not yet. Thought those were more in the form of hell notes? Joss paper. Oh yeah. Okay. It's too dark. Let's go ahead and toss the coins in as offerings. Let's see what happens. Hmm? Oh. The ancestor money was burned to ash. The road is clear now. <laughs> Whoa. Was a little spooky. Why? The paper doll is pointing to the right. Cute, but spooky. Spooky and cute. I wonder if that is the teacher. Where did the bereaved family go? I'll investigate the scene first. The candles on the table are flickering with red light, illuminating the black and white portrait of the deceased. That's the person I met at the small store just now. Oh, the store owner. Creepy paper doll. Um, chat, do you guys see the feet on the right-hand side? My mouse cursor doesn't show up, but you can see the feet on the right-hand side. Hmm. Where do you want to investigate? Let's start from the outside in. So, the coffin lid first. And there's a telephone on the coffin lid. Following the phone cable, a handset can be seen inside the coffin. The last number dialed was 110. A call was made at the same time, it was made at around the same time the police received the report. Okay, what about inside the coffin? The body is lying in the coffin. You can vaguely see that the clothes have been burned to pieces. The inside of the coffin has been blackened from the smoke. It is exuding a strong smell. It's the smell of pyrotechnic powder. Why is that in the coffin? 
pyrotechnic, like fireworks, like gunpowder for fireworks. The wreath, the wreath, and the paper doll near the opening are blackened from the smoke, but there is no trace of burning. The ignition point should be inside the coffin. And the fire didn't spread outside. End investigation. All right. The scene is a bit weird. It doesn't seem like a normal fire. I have to tell Zeng about the situation. There's no need for investigation. Okay, let's go back. We did a little check on the scene. So right now, the only thing we have is a phone call to the police about a mysterious fire that took place during the few... What? <gasps> Ooh. She's gone. <gasps> Look at all the Joss paper on the floor. All those, like, ritual coins. The offerings? Wow. It's pitch black ahead. <laughs> Whoa, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. I know it's in 2D, but still, it still startles me. A paper doll has appeared on the road. <gasps> Is that the coffin too? Hello? What? The wreath. The wreath is blocking the way. Um... Okay, so the wreath is blocking the way, and the paper doll is blocking the way there, so I think we have to. The ledger. There's a ledger covered in ash on the counter. Oh. October 20th? Wait, but where's our entry? Where's the name? Well then, at least they're coming to us. Makes our job easier. Yeah, me too, buddy. You ain't special. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's kind of spooky. That's a little spooky. <gasps> Whoa, what the hell is that? The word dent is written all over the portrait. What the hell? Okay, let's go meet meet up with Tang and see if we can What? Where's the police car? Is that our hers? I guess that was the prologue. Yeah, it became our hers. So we arrived here on the in a police cruiser, but then the police car broke down. And now it's a hearse. One of those cars that carries coffins. Rogue Liliana Okoiti, thank you for keeping a membership. Welcome back, welcome back. And what do you see this time? I see a white mist. Anything other than the white mist? There's also a car. It's a black hearse, driving very slowly. I want to get closer to it. But it always gets further away from me. Who's the hearse for? That hearse... is for my dad. Oh! <gasps> His dad? Is that why? I wonder if that's why he became a police officer, like, to do this. He shouldn't. He shouldn't. Oh, you're finally awake. 
Yeah, because we just woke up, so it must be a dream. And it, he's talking about the dream that he's having, in which he's trying to chase after the hearse that's carrying away his dad. We don't know how his dad died or why that scene is significant. Does dad's debt pass on to maybe? Oh, you're finally awake. You're caught crossing the border trying to... <laughs> got caught crossing the border just like that horse thief over there. Never mind. <laughs> Is this the clinic? Why am I here? Did you forget? You know what? I think I think it's okay to be down on the bottom. Uh, I think over here is fine. I don't think any of the images have appeared here on this side, so... Wait, I'm gonna sit down here. Yeah. Wait, a little bit larger. Smaller? Smaller. There we go. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> Did you forget? But did you forget? You fainted near the funeral shed. I fainted. You scared the living hell out of me. Luckily, the clinic was nearby. The doctor examined you and said you fell asleep. I'm sorry. I've had this problem since I was a kid. Sorry you make for making you worried. That's okay. Captain Lou, tell me about your condition. Don't take it too hard. Take your time to adjust to your work. Yes. By the way, do you have any news about the fire at the funeral? I asked the person in charge. It was caused by a half-burned paper that had fallen onto a wreath. What? Caused by half-burned paper Fallen read, but we investigated. We saw the coffin. The fire started from inside the coffin. But, <laughs> but I investigated the scene. The fire started from inside the coffin. <laughs> the game knew exactly where. <laughs> That's impossible. The coffin was closed. What? No, it was open. We saw the shoes. It was open. Additionally, the person in charge didn't pursue the case. Didn't even know who called the police. Some mischievous kid probably did it. Was there no one else at the scene during the incident? Yeah, the deceased was the owner of the small store, Wang Jin Kai. He, would, he got divorced a few years ago. The man was very stingy. His relatives stopped contacting him a long time ago. No one cared about his death, so residents of the town pitied him. They donated some money to hold the funeral for him. Alishin, don't trouble yourself with the case. Go and get some rest. All right. Are this pop-ups? Pop-ups? Where pop-ups? Let's go answer the phone. Uh, the doctor isn't here. What's the matter? What? Uh, hello? How can I help you? <gasps> oh. The person on the other end hung up. Why, why would they call the medical clinic of the police office? A bag of IV solution is hanging on the infusion stand. Was it that serious? When I was a kid, I used to get these random fevers frequently. The doctors at the hospital couldn't find the cause of it. My grandpa knew a shaman. She said I was born on the yin on a yin date at a yin time, so I attract spirits naturally. Oh, is it possible to learn that power? I want to attract spirits naturally. Last time I saw the shaman was at Dad's funeral. Oh. 
She sighed when she saw me, and she said a few words. It's heaven's will that you can see ghosts. You will become a policeman and help the dead find justice. So that's why we became a police officer. It must have been a very emotional time with the dad, uh, with dad's death. Oh my god. Oh. The following news report is about a local case. On September 15th, the family of four in Qingtan Tower was found dead at home. The homeowner, Mr. Tian, and his wife, granddaughter, had died from rat poison. His daughter-in-law, Xiao, had hung herself. The police force suspect Xiao, who had a mental health issue, had poisoned the family and hung herself. The case is under further investigation, and we welcome any information from the public. Wow. There's a key next to the TV. Clinic key. Just let you know, boing bore with Yin and is the last thing I ever wanted. <laughs> Gotta look at the, the silver lining. The key unlocks the door. Okay, let's see. Wait. Ooh. Who is this? Why do they have glasses? Chapter 1 Officer, how do you feel? Hmm, are you the doctor here? Yes, my name is Ye Jingshan. Jingshan? I just, I'll just go call him Ye. Nice to meet you. Do you know what year or decade is this in? It seems like the late 20th century. I would also think so too. Um, and period, if you like a look at the background right now, right there, it says SARS. I remember that being a uh, respiratory illness that was popular or not popular, um, prevalent and like, uh, like affecting a lot of people um, in like the 2000s. Yeah, like the early, early 2000s. Sorry, wrong, that was the wrong word. Um, it was like prevalent. No, it, it affected a lot of people is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> So I think it may be set in the 2000s because that would make sense for like that kind of a warning, you know? Sorry, chat. My brain like operates vocabulary. I operate on feelings. So like a lot of people caught it. It's like registers in the same category as like popular to me, like widespread or yeah. <laughs> Yeah, plus the old CRT TVs and these wired phones. Um, not like wireless or anything, so... Around the 2000s, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Yes, my name is Ye. Nice to meet you. Dr. Ye, thank you for taking care of me. I'm a doctor. Saving people is my job. By the way, I've never seen you around. Did you transfer here recently? Yeah, I just checked in yesterday. No wonder. Tsingtan is very humid. Newcomers don't adapt easily. Just make sure you get plenty of rest. Do you want to smoke? I'm okay. I don't smoke. You're rare. Every cop I know is a chain smoker. Especially the experienced ones. Can't solve any cases without cigarettes. I haven't handled the case yet, so I can't relate. I see. Oh, don't tell anyone I smoke. I always tell the old folks here to smoke less and can't justify it if they find that I smoke too. <laughs> Dr. Ye, is that Wang Qingkai's store next door? Yes, why? Nothing. I encountered something strange at the funeral, so I'm just trying to understand the situation. Do you know how he died? His body was found several days after he died. I had seen the corpse, so it's hard to say. People in the town are saying he died horribly, as if he was killed by a ghost. Killed by a ghost? About that, it probably has something to do with the family side that happened some time ago. 
you talking about the Tian family, the Tian family case? I saw it on TV. Yeah. After the Tian family died, Han Xinkai told everyone that Tian's daughter-in-law was a madwoman. He said she went crazy and murdered the whole family. Everyone thinks the daughter-in-law's spirit killed Wang Xinkai because, because he spoke ill of her. Of course, I'm a doctor. I don't believe in such superstitions. Wang Xinkai had a cardiovascular disease, so probably died of a heart attack. I think the circuit breaker tripped. I'll go and have a look. Officer, you might want to grab some candles in the black van outside. Okay. Do we not have flashlights? Why is it candles? It's always candles. Oh, it's so dark. Don't talk ill of the dead. Yeah. Okay, let's head outside to the... Oh, hey! It looks like the van crashed or something, because why is the window so cracked? Or is that spider webs? A black van is parked across the road. There are a few candles and a lighter next to the seat. Obtained a candle. That looks like a spider web. Can barely make out some boxes of fireworks in the van under the candlelight. Why are there fireworks in a van belonging to the clinic? Hmm. It isn't far from here. It isn't far from the funeral shed here. Dr. Yemi knows something about the fire at the funeral. Yeah, let's see if they let's see if they don't know anything more. So we gotta head all the way. Ooh. And there are traces of something that was once hung on the wall. Looks like an award banner. Guess we have to also find whatever that was. The hot wax don't bother him? Probably not. The wax kind of cools down by the time he gets there. What? Why is it covered in spider webs? The door is covered with a thick layer of spider webs. Maybe there's a way to clean up the spider webs. Use your hand. I want to use a glove or like get a duster. <clears throat> Burn it with a candle. I feel like burning with the candle is a fire hazard, given that we've already seen people die from fires. Let's investigate other places first. That's a dead end. That's a dead end. So it's just that. All right, let's try the hand. I hope we don't get bit. With your hand? Probably. I would use the I, I would use the back of my hand. The spider web is surprisingly tough. Maybe that's a way to clean it up. Okay. So these are really strong spider webs. Oh. The spider webs burn away. Why does the door sound so scary? There was a similar willow will There was a similar willow tree planted by my old house. My grandma said the tree was the root of the Lin family, and it would bless us. My dad didn't believe it. On the day he was buried, the willow tree whined as if it was crying. Is that a well? Or like a sewer? thing. Those scare me. I don't want to fall down those holes. Okay. Left, right, left, right. Let's check out the right side. A fence is blocking the way. Okay, so we have to go left. A weeping willow. <gasps> Whoa. Thomas, thank you so much for being the membership of Koiri. Just want to say thank you for joining Holo Stars and Work Hard. I don't know why I feel kind of emotional. Kami Chinta Kamu Shinri. Yeah, boo, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for being a part of the membership. Thank you. 
I'm glad I joined Hollow Stars too. I'm glad to be here. Let's go. Wait, where's Dr. Ye? Where did he go? Oh. There are two wires in the box. One wire is burnt and the other seems functional. Oh. Okay. So it looks like it starts from the top here and it has to go down this way. The description said one of the wires is burnt and the other is functional. So it looks like the purple wire, judging from this end here and that end there, and this one, it looks like the purple wire is burnt. So we'll have to use the functioning wire that works, which means we have to make sure that it connects with the red. Let me see if I can figure out like a pathway to it. I see some vertical lines here, but they don't quite line up. So I'm guessing they have to... Oh, you flip them. Okay, that makes it a lot easier. Because now we can just focus on making the connections for the orange. Like this? Because there's only a certain set number of places that it can validly sit in. There we go. Okay, that's a lot. <gasps> oh! Wait. Oh, she has a really pretty ponytail. You are... Oh! <gasps> oh my gosh, she's so cute. What? Wait, what? Wait. Why is she so pretty? Wait, but why is she so... <laughs> but why is she so pretty? Isn't the case closed? What are you doing here? The case? Hmm. Are you new here? Yeah, I just transferred here not long ago. What case are you talking about? My name is Chen Chishu Chishui. I'm a volu I'm a volunteer teacher at Jinzhen Primary School. <gasps> the volunteer teacher? Do you think is she the volunteer teacher? A month ago, my student Tian Fang Fang. Her mother and grandparents were found dead at home. But you guys suspected it was Fang Feng's mother who killed the whole family. I know Fang Feng's mother. She wouldn't hurt Fang Feng. Have you found any evidence? As you can see, I'm looking for it. <sighs> she can't rest until we help her solve the case. That's what I think. That's where we're going. She can't. I don't think she can rest until we solve the case. That's why she's looking for evidence. Why are you searching for evidence at the clinic? You'll know after I find it and send out the send it out to the press. Miss Chen, since you're a volunteer teacher here, I'm not gonna put you on the spot, but don't take anything from here. It'll be hard to deal with if someone finds out. Also, I'm Lin, criminal investigator from Criminal Investigations Department. I'll be around. Let me know if you run into trouble. Got it. Why is she so pretty? I might find important evidence here. Okay, so we leave her alone to collect evidence. I don't, what was that? A red umbrella dripping with water. Water? Red umbrella? Wait. It was not... But it wasn't raining outside. It was dry outside. Why is it covered in water now? Because we just came from the outside. We saw the willow tree. It's not raining though. Yeah, it's not raining outside. See? It's dry. 
There are many victims in this case. Our superiors take this matter seriously. Captain Liu would have cl wouldn't have closed the case nonchalantly. Hmm. I'll click more information about the Tian family case first. Oh. Ooh. Is someone there? You see a fuzzy human-shaped figure through the window. Oh. Okay. Let's go inside. Let's say hello to them. Hello. My name is Lin. We are here from... Okay. Ooh. There's a strange rumor about the Tian family murder case. According to the town's residents, on the seventh day of the murder, residents with landlines received a call in the middle of the night. On the side, there were sounds of rope tightening, as if a heavy object was being hung. The number display was in the fo the number displays were from the public phone market owned by the Tian family. In response to this, the police have stated that it was a rumor and urged people not to spread it. Okay. Ooh. This phone isn't ringing. Wait, what? It's a different phone? Maybe at the front side? Screen shows two voicemail. Hello? Is that Ye Jingshan? We're from the Criminal Investigation Department. You should have heard of the Tian family case, right? Wait. Our department's calling? I think some day after the dead people is the day the ghost goes back home. Mmm, seven days. An eyewitness said that Tian Xiang Rong's daughter-in-law Xiao Zhao Xiao Chuan was at your clinic half an hour before the incident. The daughter-in-law was at the clinic half an hour before the incident. We want to know why she was there, her diagnosis, and the kind of medicine she purchased, and her mental state at the time. The one that everyone thinks was... The, the killer, right? I hope you cooperate up with us and calls back as soon as possible. Oh, and this is him calling back? Officer, I'm Ye Jingshan. Zhao, uh, Zhao Xiao Chan did come to the clinic before the incident. She said her mother-in-law had a bad cough and wanted to buy some medicine for coughing. She left after buying the medicine. The people in the clinic saw her. I still have the copy of the receipt for the medicine. Please contact me again if you have any further questions. Coughing. The mother, Ooh. oh my God. The sound of a car starting from outside the door. Let's go check it out. car seems to be driving towards the funeral shed. Why is it going to the funeral shed so late? Mm -hmm. It's pitch black ahead. You're not able to move forward. Whoa! Wait, where did the buildings go? What? is this place? Where's the office? Where's the clinic? Several graves are located far away. They look gloomy in the dark. Graves? A cordon is blocking the way. Enter. Yes. Oh. 
what building is this now? The mailbox says Tian Cheng Rong. Is this Tian's house? Hmm. I'll investigate the scene first. Okay. Let's see what we can find out. Road ahead is swallowed by fog and darkness. Can't go that way. We can go inside. And then over here on this end is nothing. And we already came from the right edge, so. Oh, stairs. Okay, so here's a door here. The door is locked. <laughs> okay, the door is locked. All right, let's head inside. Ooh. -hoo. Newspapers plastered on the walls. Please enter the number. Oh. Four digit combination. We don't know the answer, or we don't know the number yet, so we'll have to come back later. Hmm. There's a note on the wall. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's that. Okay, okay. So, two, three, five, seven? Two, three, five, seven, maybe? We'll try it out later. Call me when you find the order. Red, blue, blue, red. What? What's with the fingerprints? The calendar says September 22nd. Huh? But it's October 28th. The time of the crime was September 15th. Why is the calendar showing a date that's seven days after that? Hmm. All right. The note says 2357. I wonder which phone it, it applies to. Is it this one? So if we try it, two, three, five, and seven. Oh. Sue, Okwiri, thank you for reaching the membership. Ten months, let's go. Hey, today's Fang Fang's birthday. Don't forget the cake. Don't forget to get the cake before you head home. The order slip for the cake was in some clothes pocket and got washed. Now there's only half a peeper left in the washing machine, and my lower back hurts, I can't get it out. The other half might be inside the pocket of the clothes that are being hung up. Remember to check the pockets before putting the clothes in the washing machine next time. Okay. So we have to go find the two pieces of the receipt. It sounds like a middle-aged woman by the voice. The clothes should be hung outside. So I wonder if it's, like, the mother? Oh, I see the pants up there. Okay, let's go get the pants. Pants are still wet. And there seems to be something in the pocket. Oh, flavor, butter, chocolate, lettering on the cake, September 21st, 2004. Huh. Whoa. Whoa. Who was that? There was someone ha walking around with an umbrella. Oh, the red umbrella. That recently rained. Okay. Ooh. That was really loud. Laundromat? Ah, there's the washing machine. Uh... The lid of the washing machine is closed tightly. There's a piece of paper on it. Volume 2. Clear mirror. Mirrors can reflect reality and see through people's hearts. Look at yourself in the mirror and find the truth. One, two, three. 
right? Seems like I need to turn the knob to the correct position to open the lid. There might be clues nearby. Well, it said to look in the mirror, so... Oh, that's... Sorry, I was like scratching my head. It's a little spooky. Let's check out the mirror. A strange symbol is on the wall in the mirror. Huh? I rarely look in the mirror. Grandma said I have too much yin energy. I would be possessed by ghosts if I looked into a mirror. After my dad passed away, I secretly looked into a mirror once. In the mirror, I saw dad's clothes hanging on the wall behind me. It was a green police uniform, dripping with blood. I never looked into mirrors since then. I can't remember what I looked like when I was a child, and it feels strange to see myself. Whoa. Okay, in the back I see... a bell? It looks like a bell, and I'm not sure what the second thing is, but there's a red flower too. Let's see. Oh, we can't we can't attempt it. We have to go find clues first. There seems to be hidden something hidden behind the curtains. This sounds like a jump scare moment. Alright, here we go. Open the curtains. There's a wall outside with a strange symbol painted on it. There's an odd pattern inside the bathtub. It seems to be unfinished. What? Hmm. How are we supposed to tell? Anything on that side? Dead end. Okay, so it looks like number one is eight o'clock? It looks like it's around eight o'clock. So number one is eight o'clock. Number two looks like it's one o'clock. And then number three. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, I can turn the faucet. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh. Yes. There's some water in the bathroom now. Oh. The reflection on the water combined with the pattern in the bathtub to form a complete symbol. So like... 717? Something like that? Okay, let's try it. So like, yeah, so like 8, 8, 7-ish? 1. And then this one is also... Around there? Wait, it's a mirror. It's a mirror. The image is mirrored. It's not seven or eight. It should be two. Or wait, no. Three, four, four. It should be four. It's mirrored, so this has to go the other way. Like that. Right? Oh. The lid of the washing machine is open. There we go. There's a half... There's half a piece of paper at the bottom of the washing machine's drum. Um. Tian Feng Feng. Why does it say the second line? The cake was for Tian Feng Feng. But the Tian family was already killed by the 21st. Who ordered the cake? strange. Whoa. What? 
What was that? The door is locked. Ooh, I don't like that. <gasps> this place is... The department's morgue. What? Electric box is locked. What? Can I get out? The door cannot be opened. It's a dead end. Okay, I guess you have to go to the body. A pair of sharp scissors hangs on the shelf. There's a corpse lying on the morgue tray. Next to it is an autopsy report. Medical autopsy report for the Forensic Laboratory of the Criminal Investigation Brigade of the Jinghe Public Security Bureau. 2004. Age of the deceased, Xiao Jiao Xiao Chuan. Gender female, age 33, height 164. The deceased died from shock caused by asphyxiation. No other trauma or signs of struggle. On this, from the on-site investigations and interviews, we can confirm the deceased had committed unalive. The hair of the deceased was entangled with the telephone at the crime scene. In order to perform the autopsy, we had to cut some of the hair. We suspect the body of the deceased had to be rotated after she hung herself causing her hair to be caught by the telephone cord. Jeez. That's... It's a little extreme. Oh my god. <gasps> Whoa! We had to cut a little of the hair. That's not a little, that's a whole head. That's a whole scalp worth of head. Whoa. The hair is clumped up on the sink. There seems to be something at the bottom of the sink. Okay, I guess we get the scissors and we cut those, the hair a little bit? Uh. Use the scissors. Ah! I don't like that, this gross. There's a key at the bottom of the sink. It looks like the electrical. Uh... <gasps> Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. The corpse is covered in hair. Do you think she used conditioner for all that hair? Imagine how many bottles you must go through washing your hair every day. Electric box is locked. Use a key. Yes. Ooh. There are two switches inside the electric box. Oh. <gasps> red and blue. Wait, was it blue, red, red, blue? Or was it red, blue, blue, red? Um, Let's try turning the... I think red, blue, blue, red, right? Red. Uh. Whoa. There's something hidden underneath the thick hair. Push the hair aside. <sighs> Alright. Let's find out. Here we go. Huh? Whoa. A pig's head is placed on top of a birthday cake. 
it seems to be an offering in a sacrificial ceremony. The word libation on the pig's forehead looks abnormal due to the lighting. Wait. I wonder if it's one of those things that changes depending on the light. So if you shine blue light at it. So we go turn off the red. Turn up blue. We should see a different image. The word libation on the pig's forehead looks abnormal due to the lighting. There should be some sort of meaning behind the text color. I'll jot it down. Libation? Libation? Text on the kick. Oh! One? Oh, ones and four. Eight. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. We're back here now. Ooh, eerie. Oh, it's Chen. Hey. Miss Chen, why are you here? This is Fang Fang's house. I want to see if there are any clues here. You said the case was closed. My presence at the crime scene won't bother you, right? Hmm. Oh, hello, Battalion. Hello. Thanks for the raid battle. I'm so jealous that you guys are all there. What the heck? <laughs> Did y'all really leave me out of it? Man. Hope y'all had a wonderful karaoke. Thank you all for the raid. Koinichiwa, Battalion, Mikey Runes. And Coltair. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Buckle in because we're in for a bit of a mood whiplash. Bubby Gator, thank you so much for reaping the membership. Okoidi, four months, let's go. Miss hmm. Chen, I have read reports on the case. The autopsy report shows that Xiao, Zhao Xiao Zhan committed on a live. Carrot Crown, thank you for the gift of membership. Thank you, thank you. And the news said that Zhao hung herself after her family members died. So what? If I come home to see my family poisoned and not breathing, I'd still call for an ambulance right away. Shaiba, thank you for the gift of membership. Thank you, thank you. Idiotic mushroom, Okoidi, and Kuragi, thank you for the gift. Thank you, thank you. Can I get some more hearts in chat? Thank you so much. Hmm. <laughs> Terry, oh my goodness, thank you for the 10 gifted. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Can we get some hearts in chat for Terry's gift? A little bit. The gifted membership uh, from Terry. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. If you've just seen please enjoy the channel badge and the emotes. You don't understand. After Feng Feng's father passed away, Feng Feng was Zhao, Zhao's only mental support. Zhao loved Feng Feng deeply. After the incident, everyone thought Zhao lost her mind, but I know she didn't. She was very sane. Looking at her daughter's dead body, could you imagine how devastating that would be? Hmm. So you think someone poisoned Feng Feng's family? And Zhao came home and saw Feng Feng's body, so she mentally broke down and killed herself? This is possible, right? I can't make conclusions without finding more clues. Hmm. What clues are you looking for? I want to know why you went to the clinic. Does Dr. Yu have anything to do with this case? Yeah, you had a strong motive for murder. Two years ago, Fang Feng's father, Tian Yu, had an epileptic seizure and was sent to Ye Ye's clinic for emergency treatment. But he didn't make it. Fang Feng's grandfather, 
Tian Xiangrong believed that Ye killed his son. He led a group of people to smash Dr. Ye's clinic and broke his ribs. Ye ended up confined to the hospital bed for more than half a month. He also lost a lot of money to the Tian family before everything was settled. Moreover, Xiao had gone to the clinic before the incident. Don't you think it's too much of a coincidence? But we heard on the phone that the reason why she came to the clinic was only to pick up some cough medicine for the mother. So, hmm. Dr. Ye said Xiao went to the clinic for cough medicine. Yeah, it was just for cough medicine. There were other patients who witnessed it, who witnessed the incident at that at that time. Who knows if there's anything wrong with the medicine he gave her? Dead people can't talk. Hmm. So you went to the clinic to find evidence of Dr. Ye's crime? Yes. But Ye is a smart man. He left no clues. Then what have you found there? What have you found here? Hmm. There's nothing here. I have to investigate somewhere else. I'll take my leave if you don't need anything else. So many pieces. Miss Chen looks a little strange. Is it because she found something here? Hmm. Cassandra, Gwady, thank you for having been the membership. Welcome back, welcome back. All right, let's take a look at some of the other stuff around here. Uh, I think it was his phone. Wait. Call me when you find the order. So it's going to be one, four, eight, one. According to the the numbers and letters that we saw on the uh, on the pig. Is that what? Oh, I think it is right. Hello. We saw the cake. Fang Fang liked it very much. Your father-in-law said that Fang Fang's classmates are coming. Please prepare a nice dinner. Don't forget to pick up something at the restaurant. Remember to get some fish. You and Fang Fang love to eat fish. One more thing. I noticed this morning. This morning, I noticed that Fang Fang left the house key in the dining room again. She's so forgetful even at such a young age. What if she left the key outside and someone picked it up? Children learn everything from adults, so you have to set an example. Hmm. Are these voicemail recordings? Like, where, where are these coming from? Dead end. Sphere, I think you must stop a mine. Hope you have a wonderful night. I think the pig cake is more there to be startling and shocking for us. I think it was more like appropriate at the time, just the regular cake. Oh. A few pieces of moldy cake appear in bowls. Investigate the cake. Which piece of cake would you like to investigate from left to right? Let's in, let's investigate them all. Are we eating it? <laughs> Just an ordinary piece of cake. Okay, second piece. Just an ordinary piece of cake. It's moldy. I don't want to eat moldy cake. Oh, there's a key hidden at the bottom of the bowl. The main door key. Just like the phone. Ooh. The heck? Where did that sound come from? Oh. A girl's portrait appears behind the railings. It seems to be a photo of Feng Feng. Hmm. I guess that's where we're supposed to head over to next. Huh? The portrait's gone. Where'd the portrait go? The key I just got should be able to open the door. 
Hmm. This is my first time at the crime scene. I take a deep breath and exhale hard. After I, after I exhale the anxiety after my chest, I take the key and... Oh. It's the phone in the public phone market. Why are we... All these phone calls. Man, teleprompters back then. So many phones. Huh? The other side is silent. Only a rustling sound is heard. Hmm. Hello? Hey, officer. Dr. Ye? You remember my voice even though we've only met once. Well, so do you. Huh. Interesting. I was busy, so I didn't hit the phone ringing. The call just now was at you. The phone call? No? It wasn't me. I didn't see who made the call, or I didn't see who made the call either. That's weird. This number belongs to the Tian family. Am I experiencing that supernatural stuff the deuce mentioned before? I know about the news. Has anyone else in town received a call like that? I hear people say that on the seventh day after they've died, a few of the granddaughter's classmates received strange phone calls. That day was also the granddaughter's birthday. I also heard that on the sixth day after they died, a cake shop in the city received an order, and the cake was for the granddaughter. Now the people in the town are terrified of going near Tian's house. They're afraid of coming across evil spirits. Officer, I'm curious about what you're doing in the Tian's house. There's something about the Tian's family case I wish to find out, so I wanted to investigate. Something you can't figure out? Dr. Ye, did Xiao go to your clinic before the incident? Yes. It's flu season, so the clinic was pretty busy that day and everyone saw her. Did the Tians usually go there, go to you when they were sick? Hmm. An extremely subtle chuckle came through the phone. <laughs> I understand what you can't figure out. You probably heard about the incident between me and the Tian family. Indeed. That Tians would rather take the longer route to another doctor than come to me after that incident. And I was also pretty surprised that Xiao suddenly came to the clinic that day. What did she say? She said her mother-in-law mother had a bad cough and asked me if I had a certain brand of cough medicine. Then she left after buying the medicine. Hmm. Got it. Thank you for your cooperation. No problem. I can't help you with much with this case. Do you want to continue the investigation? If there's anything suspicious with this case, I can't pretend I don't see it. Hmm. To be honest, when I asked you whether you smoke in the clinic just now, you said no, and that you hadn't investigated a case. I thought you were a rookie. It's really impressive how you managed to obtain these clues in such a short period of time. What? Why is he saying it that way? Matt says, why would he say it that way? I'd like to know how you found these clues. Unfortunately, I have business to attend to now. I have to chat with you, or if I get the chance. I won't bother you any I won't bother you anymore. My officer. What? What's going on? Ye was in the clinic while the crime was happening, and he had patients as witnesses. He's really not that suspicious. However, 
Yane seems to be consciously or unconsciously revealing strange rumors about the Tian family. He was very, investi he was very inv interested in my investigation of the case. And when I answered the phone, he recognized my voice right away. Ooh. He's lurking in the corner, watching everything. Spooky. Okay. What's with the music? Why did it change? Alright. I guess we can just... Whoa. Can you tell me something about your father? Hmm. My dad was a criminal investigator. He had handled a lot of big cases. He was always busy and away from home. After his death, I finally saw his face clearly for the first time. I was young then just stared curiously at the small wound on his forehead. The adults often said that I look a lot like him. Every time they said that, I would think of the wound. And my head would start aching. That feeling was like, the bullet that killed my dad had taken root in my head. <sighs> he was shot, yeah. Had to get up. Food is ready. Get up now. Huh? <gasps> A flashback. Oh, he's so small. This is my room. I remember as I was leaving the public phone market, a black car drove towards me. But I don't have any wounds on my body or feel any pain. Who brought me back? Brought me back? Okay, so it's not a flashback then. It's current time. But how do we get all the way here? This is my room. But when was this mirror installed? Ooh. Get up and wash. It's time to eat. Hmm. That's a broken mirror hanging on the Where else have we seen that red rose? What? When was it installed? Because we don't like mirrors. Why would we have a mirror in our own room? There's a bottle of sleeping pills in the nightstand. I don't remember buying sleeping pills. You should still not have done washing. The food's getting cold. I've heard this voice before. It's the voice of the middle-aged woman on the phone. Huh? Wait, then whose dream are we? Wait, where are we then? The fragments that fell off the mirror are jutting from the bed. 
I remember. This is the mirror from the bathroom in the Tian's house. Why is the Tian's family mirror in my room? I'll search if there are any other suspicious objects. Mirror fragment. What the heck? It's a poster of a popular movie in recent years. Anything weird or sus? Hey, that kind of looks like the glass. This is to certify that Lin Nation is an outstanding triple A student. <sighs> but there's that mirror again with the red, red rose on it. The glass in the frame is the glass of its frame is smashed, and one of the fragments has a special pattern printed on it. Oh, it's so crunchy. Mirror fragment. Okay. A few bottles of sleeping pills. The calendar sticks on September 22nd. The gunfight movie poster I left when I was small. Under this mirror, maybe? A dusty old cloth is covering the full length mirror. Let's remove the cloth. Ooh. More mirror shards. The mirror was broken into several pieces, one of which looks out of place. Okay. I think we have all three fragments now, so we should be able to combine them all together. Put the pieces back together. Chapter 2. Accumulated Sin. The day that after the seventh day after they die. Yeah, it's seven days after their death. A window has appeared in the mirror. Press Z to focus on the mirror. Ooh. What? This place is the bathroom in the Tian's house. Where, where is this taking us? We're being like flung back and forth all over multiple places. It's hard to keep track. Take the candle. Yes, we'll need the light. Okay. Now that we have the candle, I don't know if there's anything particular that we've got to go to. Dead end. Okay. It's so foggy. There fills the pungent smell of gunpowder. The mist has become thicker than before. It seems something was burnt nearby. Wait, we never actually went upstairs, did we? This door. He unlocks the door. <sighs> Sorry, chat. Let's go. <sighs> A red umbrella dripping with water. <gasps> Miss Chen's? I wonder if maybe this is her house. Oh no, this is the, this is still the Tian's house. Two thousand four. My birthday is coming soon. Mother said she'll go out to go, she will go to town and buy a big cake for me. Aww. <laughs> the twenty second. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Chad. I'm Mary E.B. today. Ooh. 
Door locked. Door locked. Okay. Dead end. Okay, well, let's go back and check out the other side. Back over here. Back over here. Ooh. A happy family. Photo in the frame is missing. Okay. Ooh. A yellow piece of paper. A piece of yellow paper is under the phone. Hui, hui shan? What? After a person dies, the spirit will return to the land of the living on the seventh day. This phenomenon is called hui sha. To prevent the spirit from getting lost, family members will light candles in their house. The spirit will find their way back by following the candles. Okay. To prevent, the spirit will return to the land of the living on the seventh day. Hmm. The candle is engraved with the word to. Okay. This one. Candle is engraved with the word three. There are three statues of unknown deities on the pedestal. So you have two and a three. It looks like the statue with the black hat is two, and the statue with the white hat is three. Although I'm not sure if the color of the hat really matters here. But we're, we'll just keep on holding on to that information. Candles and gray with the word four. Light the candle. Not yet. Let's figure out what the proper order is. So yeah, candle one, two, four. There's a candle here too. Five. Light the candle. No. Not yet. One. I think maybe we should... Mm, I want to stay... Wait. Not yet. Not yet. Dead end. Balcony door is locked. Door is locked. All right. Now that we checked all the places, let's go ahead and light the candles. Light the candle. Yes. One, two, three, candle four. Light the candle. Yes. There's a grayscale portrait on the wall with the name Tian Yu written in the corner. Tian Yu. I remember he was Fang Fang's daughter or father. Candle is engraved with the word five. Light it? Yes. What? Oh, it's the radio. Requires tuning to receive normal signals. All right. Uh. Oh no! How am I supposed to determine this one? I'm not sure what the clue is for this. Do I have to like listen to the sound? Wrong channels. Signal is still unstable. Okay, we'll come back later. Let's figure. Oh. One is the lowest. So, one, three, three, two, four. One, three, three, two, four. So it'll be. The first candle is the lowest, so it'll be one, three, three, two, and four. Oh, the radio is working properly now. Uh, well, I don't like that. The radio is playing a weird chanting sound.
Oh, it's it's Miss Chen. Why is she still here? What? Miss Chen. Miss Chen. What a coincidence. We ran into each other twice tonight. Officer, what are you doing here? Miss Chen, if you're right, there may be hidden clues to the Tian family's case. I'll continue the investigation. What did you find? Nothing yet, but I'll try hard to search the house. Also, this is a crime scene. It'll be hard for me to explain to my superior if you leave any traces, so... I understand. I'll go somewhere else. I'll leave you alone. Officer, you seem to be quite concerned about the case. I was a bit harsh on you. I hope you don't take it seriously. It's okay. How does she keep showing up in these places? The food on the table is rotten, and there's a piece of paper next to it. My body will not rot into the mud. Like a bird, I'll die in the sky. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that one, chat. Felix, well, thank you so much for the super chat. Good morning. Last week of work before Christmas vacation. Your contest with a great source of joy, wonder, and comfort. Times are scary at the time, but you're a warm way of comfort. Thank you. Thank you so much for the hard super chat. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoy and have a wonderful Christmas vacation. And I hope everyone else who also is able to celebrate and enjoy a nice little break gets a very much needed rest and relaxation. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's figure out what that poem is supposed to mean. It seems to be torn from a book of uh, poetry. Whoa. There's a family portrait in the wine jar. Why is a photo in a jar? I had to find a way to get it out. Chad, have you seen that? There are like arts and crafts that you can do that makes it look like you stuck someone's face inside a jar. It's really cool. You printed it out and then you like stick the paper on the inside of the glass jar. Wait, excuse me. There's seasonings and chopsticks near the pot. Chopsticks. Oh, we're Asian. We can do this. We can use the chopsticks to fish out the photograph. And it makes it look 3D. Yeah, that one. Take out the photo from the jar. Oh, yeah. Whoa. One person is missing from the family portrait. Family portrait photo. Okay. Let's take a look and see if there's anything else that we may have missed. No? Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, Chad. It's gonna be an EB night. TV has no signal. Okay, let's go put the photo in here, inside the frame. Put the photo in? Yes. Oh! Some words have appeared on the photo. Wow. TV 21? Wow. Orax, thank you for the super chat. I actually can't wait to see the word Asian shit me clips later. <laughs> that was perfect. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Now we're going to reveal the special number for this issue. Ladies and gentlemen. The special number for the 28th issue of Qingjiang Qing, Qing style is 718-11-18-22-04, lottery style. Oh. 
Press Z to clean the screen. What? <laughs> Who are those people? Huh? Hey? Guilan? Why did you turn off the TV? I still want to watch my TV series. <sighs> ah, it's too noisy. Annoying. <sighs> Me, thank you for the gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. It's Tian Chong Chiangong. Are we looking back into the past, maybe? Hmm. I've already told you. It's not easy to win the lottery. Well, a lottery ticket doesn't cost much. Tian Chiangong. Do you know how much money we have? <laughs> you just lent 10,000 yuan to your cousin last month. We're almost out of money. He's my relative. I had to help. You just want to pretend to be generous and rich. When you gets the job, we'll be having more income. You've been trying to get him the job for several years and spent a lot on it. The people in your company were all flattering you back then. Now that you've been fired, they just don't care about doing favors for you. I was laid off under the arrangement of the state, not fired. Besides, Supermarket is almost ready. We can make money out of it, too. Alright, I'm done with this. I'm going to cook. Hey, we can't let outsiders know that our family's out of money. Especially her. Oh, there is money problems. They seem to be pretty serious money problems, too. I understand. If other people know about this, you'll be humiliated. Oh my god. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> Tian's residence looks flashy, but it turns out that they were financially struggling, which other people didn't know. There may be more secrets hidden here. The sound of a door opening is coming from outside the living room. Are we allowed to investigate on our own like this? Because we're still a rookie. The door cannot be opened. Okay, I guess we just keep going then. No, no one's stopping us now. Yeah. Oh, this door's unlocked now. Ooh. Wait, what? Seventeenth. The moon sets, the crows cry, east of the maple tree. Uh, what? 2002? So... Two years before? Sixth month. June. June 17th. Water horse year, fire horse month, fire dragon day. Chinese farmer's calendar, the seventh of the fifth month. Fire day. Do not set up a stove lest disaster fall upon you. Dragon day. Do not cry lest another funeral occurs. Suitable, do not do anything. Unsuitable, do not do anything. Huh. A little ominous? What do they mean? Good question. These are books about feng shui and celestial events, and a piece of paper was put in one of them. Sky Limit, thank you for the gifted membership. Thank you, thank you. Can get some hearts and chat for the gifted membership. Thank you, thank you. New moon, full moon, first quarter, third quarter. New moon rises at. Oh, that's gonna take a long time to memorize. Oh no. New moon, 6 18. First quarter moon, 12 24. 
<sighs> Full moon rises at 18 and sets at 6. Is it all just uh, 12 hour intervals? It looks like it's 12 hour intervals. So let's keep it in mind. If it comes out to be something important, then we'll take a look at it. I can't tell if this is an option or not. Ah, there we go. Set the time to... Let's investigate other places first, because I don't really know what I should be aiming for. Cake order slip. Uh, chocolate lettering. September 21st. 2004. That's not it. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, Chad. I think this might just be like an EP stream all the way through. I'm exhausted. Okay, hold up, hold up. New moon. Chinese summer calendar. First and 13th day. Full moon. 15th and 16th. Uh, 7th and 8th day. Third quarter moon is 22nd and 23rd day. What day is right now? Interesting. It doesn't actually tell us what day it is. Oh, there it is. There it is. The seventh day. Monday, 17th, but the seventh day. So, what is the seventh day? Seventh is the first quarter moon. First quarter moon rises at 12 and sets at midnight. Let's try that. Oh, there we go. Uh, wait, sorry, chat. My brain's not working today. Let me go back. First quarter moon, seventh day. Rises at midnight, sets at 12, sets at noon. Rises at midnight, sets at noon. So let's try those. But it doesn't make sense, does it? Hang on, let's try, let's try anyway. Set the time to midnight. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Wow, this is kind of cool. They're like operating a little diorama on the side of a of a clock. I can hear that. My stomach's gurgling. Hey, Tian. I'm here. Oh. Have you got the stuff? Here. It's fresh. Look. The color is nice, isn't it? Probably belonged to a high-ranking official in the Qing Dynasty. Alright, alright. Put it away. You're not going to touch it again. I'm just helping you contact your client. I won't touch it. I understand that people's belongings are unlucky and too much of a taboo for you. Hmm. I'll take you to the client on Wednesday. Wish my call. Thank you in advance, Tian. By the way, Tian, you've stopped doing this after you got married. Why did you start again? 
It has nothing to do with you. Ooh. Tian, I heard that you spent quite a lot of time. I heard that you spent quite a lot on getting a job for you. I may be stingy, but I remember the favors I owe others. If you need something, our family isn't short of money. A previous client wanted a few antiques and I couldn't refuse. That's why I came to you. Oh, you could have said that earlier. Good to hear you're all right. I'm heading off then. Ooh, what is that? The decorative painting has, on the clock has come off, and there are a few lottery tickets hidden inside. Oh, lottery tickets? Ooh. Press Z to scratch. Do you think we'll win? Why? Do you really think you can change your fate? It's your son's bad luck to be born into the Tian family. Oh, this is kind of intense. This is karma. Oh. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, sorry about the chat. It's time for the burial. It's time for the burial. It's not good if we miss the auspicious time. So you spend more time with you. I'll go to the balcony. He's planted some flowers there. I'll check on the pick a few beautiful ones to plant by the grave. He's gone. What's the point in that? You like those flowers. He'd be happy to have them planted by his grave. Uh, you did nothing wrong. You didn't deserve the karmic retribution. What karmic retribution? You're talking like all you like you had all had endured hardships all these years. I did those just to make more money, give you a better life. Then tell me. Now that he died from an illness, whose fault is this? The barrier people are coming soon. I'm going to the balcony to check on used flowers. Some are broken. It's upsetting to look at them. So they're saying that you didn't deserve that karmic retribution, but then what happened? Like, was it that that object, that item that they found? We don't know who it belongs to. Hmm. I wonder how old they were. Yeah, like stealing from the dead. Because they mentioned that like, oh, it's it's probably a really fancy relic from the Qing Dynasty. But that's like so long ago. Hmm. I wonder what kind of spirit they may have angered trying to rob a grave or something like that. Alright, let's take a look and see if there's anything else. Any more developments here? Ah, oh, the flowers. Oh. A potted plant that is about to wither. Press Z to clean up the, the dead branches. What did I do wrong? The job that I got my son was decent. Others would kill for it. 
The house I built for him was the most luxurious in the neighborhood. Everyone had to look up to us. I'd never done anything wrong. What, what is happening here? This is all your fault. Ye Jing Shan. You killed my son. Oh. Dad, it's almost fall. You'll catch a cold sleeping on the balcony. I've got a blanket. I'm fine. Besides, your mother's nagging irritates me. Is Fang Fang asleep? She went to bed after finishing her homework. Did she say anything? Before falling asleep, she said she missed her dad. Uh, she's still young. Needs adults to accompany her. Fang Fang is very close to your mother. The world revolves around her. I want to watch Fang Fang grow up. You understand? I understand, Dad. That's good. You should spend more time with Fang Fang. I will. Dad, you should come in if it gets cold. I'm perfectly fine here. When I opened my eyes early in the morning, I saw a crowd downstairs. They all looked about our house. I could see the envy in their eyes. Oh, those kind of dads. Once, I even saw you in the crowd. I told him to come up, but he didn't respond. Dad, you were dreaming. Dreaming. If only I had been dreaming. I've never really understood that, like, the whole, like, having material wealth and showing that off to people, making others jealous. I've never really understood that. But I can understand why some people participate in that style, lifestyle. It's never made sense to me, but I guess for others it will. I guess for others it's like a big defining part of themselves. Wait, is it the phone here? Hey, Fang Fang. Do you like the clothes I bought you? They like it. That's great. I have another good news for you. I'll take you to see Dad this Sunday. Or this Saturday. Yeah, he's back. You should put on your new clothes and show them to your dad. Uh, what? That's the voice of Feng Feng's grandma. What does she mean by Tian Yu is back? Huh? <laughs> Forever remembered. Portraits in the frame disappear, and a few musical notes appear in the center. Mm. <laughs> Probably need to show people that they have control in their life, like look at me, I'm successful, got my age together. Maybe. But like, I've never really cared about other people having their stuff together like that. Or like, in that way, you know, the, the humble bragging kind of way. It's never really clicked with me. <laughs> I want to do this kind of a clue but the musical notes will just be the first four notes of Megalovania. And it would just be that. Like, doo -doo -doo -doo, and that's it. And then people have to figure out, like, what does it mean? Wait, how does it go? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. Let's proceed. We've already used this clue, so it's not here. 
a dead end. Can we back, go back through? Oh! <gasps> this Chen. Uh, I'm really happy whenever she's on the screen. <laughs> happy for two reasons. One, she's really pretty. But two, um, every single time Miss Chen appears, she does a big exposition drop. And we get like a huge bit of lore. And we like have a chance to like learn more about what's actually going on. I have no idea either. This place is weird. Uh, the room layout seems to be changing constantly. But I remember the pattern on the door. If anything had a diary, with this pattern was on the cover page. And the door had a combination lock, just like her diary. Hmm. Do you know the passcode? This is my student's privacy. Of course I don't know. Maybe there are clues that can help this open, help us open the door. I'll look for them. Officer, can we look together? Feng Feng was a student I cared about very much. I want to know what Feng Feng and her family went through. If you're afraid that I might destroy the scene, that's okay, Miss Chen. I want to know the Chen. I want to know the Tian family's past. You've been in Jingtan town longer than I have. You should know better. I'll do my best to answer whatever you want to know. No secrets will remain undiscovered in this little town. Oh, well, Miss Chen, thanks for your co cooperation. Yeah. <gasps> Let's go. A new party member has joined. You can obtain more clues by investigating some places again. <gasps> you can double up? Oh, you can double up, Chad. Let's go. That's cool. Extra deep diving into into the lore. Ooh, it changes. Miss Chen, is it possible that the passcode is Fang Feng's birthday? This is the first time I thought of it, but it didn't work. Mm. All right, Miss Chen. The calendar says Gif from Qinghe Branch of Agricultural Development Bank. Did anyone from the Tian family work in a bank before? Feng Feng's grandmother, Tian Xiangrong, used to work in the bank and was laid off a few years ago. Have you heard any rumors about Tian Xiangrong? I did hear some older teachers talk about him. They said Tian Xiangrong was very rich, but the source of the money was unknown. There were even rumors that Tian's resold cultural relics. Oh. Resold cultural relics? I wonder if that's the clue that. Hmm. Curious. Because we did have that small little flashback scene of sorts of a young, younger. Um, of a younger you finding that relic. Maybe that's where they're getting the money. You know? Yeah, cultural relics. He obtained cultural relics from others and sold them on the bank's major clients. <gasps> Was he having the family, like the kids, go out there and collect like loot from graves? The people in the town thought that Tian sold the belongings of the dead and ran, in, ran into debts of the deceased. So his son received karmic retribution. Debt of the deceased. So someone dies and then all the materials left there and then he sends his children out to go take them and sell them on the market? Door won't budge. Door is locked. The sins of the father passed down to the son. Yeah. But like how it, it does make sense that the family would be so sad because the kid doesn't know any better. You know? They don't know. They're just having fun. They're just playing around and they're being told by their dad to do this. So 
don't know. All right, let's see if that musical notes is a thing. I can put that musical notes on the door. Maybe this melody is related to the password. Let me have a look. Five, three, five, I. This is the prelude to the song Farewell. <laughs> Stolen artifacts is a big problem in China. They sell a lot because people they try to buy them back. Ah. Uh... Shai Bai, thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. <laughs> so, so me, so do. The last do is a high do. One after the seventh note that can be interpreted as eight. Then the password should be five, three, five, eight. Oh, she's so smart. Miss Chen, do you teach music? I teach Chinese literature. The school doesn't have a music teacher, so I teach simple songs once in a while. I like the song very much. The students said when I finish teaching here, they'll sing the song to me as a farewell gift. Aww, cute. This might be the password. Try it. Yes. Alright, let's go try it. 5358. They say in the first part, if you owe a ghost death, they'll kill you. Even the entire family. Yeah. Five, three, five, eight. It worked. Nice. Whoa. Behind the door, the staircase going downward appears. We can't see the bottom of the staircase. Do you want to go down there and investigate? Yes. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Hmm? What's wrong? I think I heard a little girl's laughter behind me. A little girl's laughter. My ears might have played a trick on me. I mean, you sound a bit superstitious. Are you scared? I'm a cop. I don't believe in ghosts. We walked down such a long staircase and yet... Now we're here at the entrance again. But the atmosphere feels different from what it was earlier. Oh, well, let's look around first. Whoa. McCordon has talismans stuck all over it. You cannot move forward. I wonder if these talismans are here to keep something in or keep people out. Because those are two very different things. A page has been torn out from a diary is stuck onto the wall. 12th of March, cloudy. Today we went to the city. Mom bought me a toy camera. Grandpa and Grandma took me to visit an old lady on our way back. Grandpa and Grandma got into a quarrel. A toy camera. An old lady. And then Grandma and Grandpa fought. Whoa. Count me out next time for stuff like this. I don't believe in these things. And I don't want to be seen there. What is there to be ashamed of? You've just read a few more books in school. Get off your high horse. Ugh. Did the witches did the witch say anything wrong? She could tell that you touched belongings of the dead immediately. Oh. Grandpa? Oh, so Shadow, thank you for the super chat. Coys with the ancestral bond. How is our tradition read? Confused, very confused, but we're piecing together things. So, by March 12th, weird, freaky stuff was already happening. Weird stuff was already happening, which is why they went to go see the shaman. But this is the diary written by Fang Fing right now. So, 
she doesn't really understand what's going on. So her diary says, oh, we just went to go visit an old lady. The old lady must have been some sort of an exorcist or a monk or uh, some ritualist. Because, well, I guess I, the game describes it as witch. So the witch was able to identify that Xiongrong uh, was, was he's like touching the belongings of the dead so like the selling of the belongings you know yeah so they were able to find out she just had a hunch you're falling for her lies if you believe her Tian Xiongrong I don't care if you believe her or not can't let anything happen to Feng Feng. The witch gave me some talismans. Put them up at home and they'll cast evil spirits out. One more thing. Burn some offerings for the people you've crossed. I don't believe in these. I won't do it. You... How are you still alive after sleeping in the cold balcony every day? I'll do it. You always need a woman to clean up your mess. Shame on you, Xiang Rong. Uh... The witch also said she saw you, and he missed us. We'll go to the witch in a week, and she can summon you. So this is when you is already passed. We saw the family having a grieving over the funeral already. And when she says the witch can summon, I'm guessing like commune with the dead. Stay home. If, stay home if you don't believe in these things. I'll take Feng Feng and our daughter-in-law along. You guys go. I'll stay home. I'm not sure if it's attempting necromancy. It just feels like they're trying to communicate with you. I think that's really all it's thing. Like just talking kind of brought it on himself he did brought it on himself but because of his actions he also brought it on his whole family the whole family so it's it's not just um Xiang Rong, Xiang Rong but like the entire family is getting, uh suffering the consequences that's the toy camera hanging on the wall check the camera let's do it Oh, invert image. Oh. It. Wait. It's a toy camera. Oh, yo. That's cool. That's a new. That's how they introduce a chapter. Chapter three. Accumulated sin. Wait. That's right. Someone is missing from the photo. Whoa. What? Oh. I'm getting... I'm getting... Um, Sorry, my brain stopped working. That that Legend of Zelda game, the one where you jump into like the mirror, the altered version, like the Shadow World. Yeah, you looked at the, you looked through the picture in the toy camera, and it changes. The world that you're in. Whose, whose world are we looking from? A drawing of a little girl is hidden inside a deity statue. It's a dead end, okay. A closed door is drawn on the wall. So all of these are drawings. Okay, so if you go back into the real world. There we go. Ooh. So the doll is inside here. Investigate the deity statue. 
Yeah, Link Between Worlds, that's the one. I can't identify what kind of deity it is. Probably one of those locals believe in. Okay, let's move the statue, and we should find the small doll of the little girl. There's a diary page written. There's a diary page behind the statue. 19th of March. Sunny. Today we went to see the old lady we visited last time. Grandma said we could see Dad. Grandpa wouldn't go. Before we left, we folded a lot of shiny paper ingots. Hmm. I wonder if it's like... So the, the grandfather is selling grave goods gotten from grave robbing. And something bad is happening to the family enough that they would go visit a witch. They visit the old lady, the witch. The first time, she immediately identifies the grandpa as, you're the one that's doing this. Stop doing this. It's bad. Stop selling the trinkets and items and objects that you find from these graves. The grandpa refuses. The grandma is now worried because there's the belief that if you steal or borrow objects from a ghost and you don't give it back, you are now in debt, and that debt can affect the family. So the grandma doesn't want anything happening to the granddaughter because we've already seen their son die. So, yeah, grandma said we could see dad, but grandpa wouldn't go. Before we left, we folded a lot of shiny paper ingots. I'm guessing the paper ingots they folded a lot of were supposed to be offerings to try to appease the spirit. Um, but I think we all know that it didn't work out. Down, up, up, right, left, down. Down, up, up, right, left, down. Use the arrow keys to operate. Down, up, up, right, left, down. Oh, that's really cute. Look at that. <laughs> Is that the... Oh! Ah, so that's what we were folding. Oh, and it goes right into a cutscene. Meisha, can, can Feng Feng come in? This is soul summoning. It might accidentally summon other wandering ghosts. Fang Feng is young and weak in yang energy. I'm afraid her soul might get captured by a little ghost. Let her watch outside. Okay then, sorry for troubling you, Miss Fang. By the way, close the window. Don't let the evil spirits out. Okay, go shut the window, Xiaojuan. Ooh. Don't interrupt me, no matter what happens later. You can ask questions, and he'll answer you if he wants. If he doesn't, don't push him. And? His soul will return to where it belongs. Or, his soul will return to where it belongs after. Don't cling to it. So I think for us in the West... It would be more akin to something like a seance to talk and communicate with someone who has passed away. I think that's the ritual that they're trying to conduct right now. Fang Fang? Fang Fang, wake up. Fang Fang, go out and play. It's so much fun out there. Double click C. Try harder. Oh, come here, Fang Fang. Oh, it's a little tadpole. Oh, that's cute. Oh, 
This must be what the daughter imagined when she was able to communicate with her dad's spirit. This is my, this is what she must be imagining. Darren, thank you for the super chat. Have a good stream. Eat well and sleep after this too. I will. Thank you, thank you. People say it's dangerous outside the pond. There are a lot of dead ends here. This is cute. <gasps> Look, it's a frog statue. Oh, it's a toad. A toad is muttering a spell that doesn't make any sense. She looks a lot like dad, but she isn't dad. Can't go that way. I see the X's, so I figure we stay away from those. <gasps> oh no. A sad mermaid. Mama Mermaid is frowning. She seems upset. She said, I miss my home, the ocean. The ocean is vast and everyone lives freely in it. There's so many twists and turns and dead ends here. I really want to help Mama Mermaid. But I can't find the way out either. Hmm. So a toad that looks like dad but isn't dad. And then... Oh, what is this? What? Tian Feng Feng. Tian Feng Feng. Tian Feng Feng. The little have tadpole swam happily. When they saw Mother Tortoise lying on the rock, they swam over and asked, Mother Tortoise, where is our mother? I think our mother is screaming at us right now. <gasps> Look, there it is. School, Ting Tan, class, grade two, I'm guessing. And the name would be Tian Feng Feng. Oh, we're in class. Oh, I see, I see. We're not paying attention in, in school. Tian Feng Feng, are you daydreaming again? Why can't you pay attention like the other students? Go back and copy the text manually, ten times. I'll call your parents over if you do it again. Oh, one more thing. A new teacher, Miss Chen, will be joining our school tomorrow and replace me as your Chinese literature teacher. Make sure you're dressing neatly tomorrow so you don't embarrass yourself. <gasps> oh, we get to find. So, this is when they first meet. Oh. This should be Feng Feng's classroom. Where did Miss Chen go? Welcome, Miss Chen. Oh. This is really cute. Okay, there's the camera there. Oh. There's a wooden box and a lecture podium. Oh. Huh? I don't know what picture this is supposed to end up looking like, but... Let's... Let's have fun. Let's mess around with it. Okay. Think it's supposed to be a flower? Kind of gives me flower. Let's get this blue piece up onto the top. I'm gonna hold a yellow piece in the middle there. I 
want to just get to the top so that we can figure out where the rest of it all goes to. Okay. So top there, which means you need to go next. Or after? Like... Oh wait, it's the other way around. So go there, pull you guys down to that side. Uh-oh, wait, hold up. Uh, my brain. Jennifer, thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Okay, there we go. We got those set. So now we're going to move you to this side. Ah, <gasps> yeah. Let's go. It is a little flower. Ooh. There's a key inside. Key inside the box. I'm not sure what it's for. I'll check the vicinity first. It's a dead end. Okay, let's keep going. Door? The door is locked. It cannot be opened. Okay, so it looks like the only thing we can interact with is the camera. So, let's invert. Whoa. Wait. Oh, this looks so spooky. The creepy doodles of bay headed dolls, which seem to be unfinished. Ah, here we go. A red flower is painted on the cabinet. All right, so it's that cabinet. Okay, let's go back into the real world. Well, spirit world, I guess. And then... <laughs> the pencil sharpened on the table with a piece of paper. We'll, we'll sharpen the pencil later. Alright, let's open this. Cabinet has two drawers and a door. They're all locked. The key I've just found might be useful. Uh, I think the middle drawer was the one. The drawer is open. Oh! That's a box of chalk. It says white chalk. But I think the chalk looks blood red. I don't know, chat. I know the box says white chalk, but I think... I think it's a different color. I don't think it's... I don't think it's white chalk. Oh, that's kind of scary. I don't like the chalk. Do we sharpen the chalk? Use the pencil sharpener to grind the ch... Oh, Chad. Do you see that? The faces are blushing. If we grind up the red chalk and mix it with the white chalk, we can get pink. And then with pink, we can add a blush to all of the pictures. Ah, I don't like that sound. Oh. Oh, that was that was kind of painful. Okay. Let's jump through. And now let's finish the painting or the, the chalk drawing. They seem to be unfinished. Apply red chalk powder to the doodles. Yes. There we go. Oh. Huh? Okay. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Windows are painted in a weird red. Okay. What about here? The door is painted in a disquieting red. Okay. Now that we've finished the painting here, let's see what's changed when we go back. 
Oh my god. I should make her sit in the back of the classroom. Otherwise, the new teacher will be pissed when she sees her zoning out all day. If you send her to the back, her grandpa will come in and cause a scene at the school. Great. I'll let Tian Zhongrong know that his grand or know what his granddaughter did in class. Look at all the doodles in her exercise book. She'll never achieve anything like this. The little tadpole swam happily when they saw Mother Tortoise. Ah. She's a girl. She's in school. Like, daydreaming is a normal thing for children. Do you remember me? I visited your school for an interview half a year ago. You welcomed me back then. Oh, it's Miss Chen. I'll be teaching here tomorrow onwards. Miss Chen? Yeah. You should go home. It's late. I didn't pay attention in class, so my punishment is to copy the text. Hmm. Feng Feng, let me show you something. Close your eyes first, then open them when they tell you. Mm -hmm. Feng Feng? You can open your eyes now. Oh. What? Oh, it's one of those little to Oh. Thing thing. Have you ever played this before? Oh. Maybe you think thing is not familiar. We'll say, I've never played it. I've never played it. Then let me go over the rules. You pick a different, you pick a direction. East, south, west, and north. And then you say a number. For example, if you pick east and six, I'll move six times. Then see what's drawn on the east side. I drew faces on every side and side. If you pick a smiling face, then you're off the hook. How does that sound? Choose a direction first. Ah. Uh, oh, this is really cute. I want to go north. North. And then a number. Five. We'll do five. Okay. Okay. Let me see what it is. It's a smiling face. <gasps> They're all smiling faces, Jack. They were all smiling. Oh. <laughs> Miss Chen. Oh my gosh. It's a smiley face. Stop copying and go home, Fang Fang. But Miss Xu told me to do it. Don't worry. I'll be your new Chinese literature teacher tomorrow. I have the final say. Mm-hmm. Miss Chen, can you teach me how to make this? It looks like a star when it's open. It's beautiful. A star. It's a very interesting analogy. I like it. I'll teach you. First, fold it up like this. Then, fold like this. The last step is to open it up. Look, this is it. Now you try it, Fang Fang. First do this, then do this, and finally... Oh, Miss Chen, I've got it. You learn fast. Let's fold more. 
Oh. Mary, I think you for stopping by. I hope you've up a night. Oh. <laughs> I folded a lot of stars with Miss Chen. Oh. I love Miss Chen. Oh, oh my heart. This is too cute. I'll study hard because Miss Chen told me. Oh. And every word I write in my exercise book. Brown and grow into a flower field. Yeah, it's still a little tadpole. Oh. 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 Wait, can I touch the stars? Nah. But this is so cute. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Hey, Why did you come home so late? A new Chinese literature teacher in the school taught me origami. What does that teacher look like? Hmm. She's different from the other teachers. But she's as pretty as mom. It seems like you like your new teacher very much. You should study hard since she's going to teach you. I will. The food is ready. Wash your hands and call your grandparents over to eat. Must have been mom. Oh, I think it. I think this is mom. Huh? There are several steaming dishes on the table. Oh, oh. You went to visit the witch today. What did she say? I thought you didn't believe in these. Mm -hmm. Miss Xiang summons Yu So. You said he was doing good, so we don't have to worry about him. He also asked us to take good care of Fei Fei. Anyone can say this kind of cliche. You old fart. Did you know that you asked me to send you a few words to you? What did he say? He wanted me to tell you, Dad, I don't blame you. He also said, Dad, I don't regret being born into the Tian family. He... Did he really say that? You can ask your daughter-in-law if it's real. Hmm. I'm full. Going out for a walk. <sighs> I'm not hungry. I'm gonna go light some incense for you. Thing thing. Fish is good for your brain. You should eat more fish. Get an A in your exam and show it to your dad. Whoa. The fish mom cooked is delicious. That... Uh... But my mom doesn't like fish. I asked grandma why mom can't cook fish very well, even if she hates them. 
Grandma told me it's because Dad and I like fish. Mom loves me and Dad so much that she'll even do things she doesn't like. Aww. That is the... I don't, I don't know. I think that's really sweet. Like, even if, like, it's not something you personally enjoy, but you know that the people you love enjoy it, so it's like... Aww. I asked Grandma if I had to do things I didn't like if I love someone. Grandma didn't answer me. She told me that kids shouldn't ask this kind of question. Oh. Okay, before we go, I want to check everything else around here. Everything has been checked. Okay, let's go. That's right, we have to go into the... into Fang Fang's world. Okay. Now that we're in this world, we should be able to go through, back to the other rooms. So we've checked all of the rooms here. Now it's time to go check all the ones over here. Okay, excuse me. Okay. Where are we again? Take us back to the real. Doors locked? Okay, it's gotta be this one then. Oh. A damaged paper of a di a damaged page of a diary is stuck on the wall. Twenty first of March, sunny. Today grandpa went to see the old lady with us. Grandma said I couldn't enter the house and told me to go play outside. I saw a small shed on the road with Vase Girl written on it. I was curious, so I bought a ticket. A vase Girl? Fortune telling. All questions will be asked. One ticket per entry. Uh -huh. I saw a small shed on the road with Vase Girl. I was curious, so I bought a ticket. Oh! Obtain ticket to Vase Girl. Oh. <gasps> oh. What is that? I guess we have to go also visit Vase Girl. A strange shadow appears behind the mosquito netting. Open the netting. There's a bottle and an empty bowl on the bed. If you wish to find the answer, you must give up something precious. If you wish to find the answer, you must give up something precious. Does it mean one needs to give up something he values before asking questions? Do we have anything? Wait, we should save. It, we have not saved at all. I don't know if these would count as valuable stuff, so. Uh, a small bed piled with stuff. It looks like it's been a long time since someone slept on it. It's a dead end. Okay, so the answer is somewhere in this room. Invert the image. What? Oh. Star? Obtain a marble. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Okay, and there's a second camera right here. What does this one show? A cage. It sounds like something hit the window. Oh, no. Was it a burb? Blood smeared the window. There are black feathers in it. Mm. Obtain the black feather. No. Do we give them the 
marble and the feather, maybe? Yeah, place the marble and the feather into the bowl. Let's see what happens. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. A female voice is coming from the vase. What do you want to know? Who are you? You're using other people's valuable possessions, so I can only answer questions about them. Two items, two questions. Who do you want to hear about? I hope, oh, I hope we, ha I hope we can a ask both. Fang Fang's mother. We don't know anything about Fang Fang's mother. And also, Miss Chen? Let's learn about... I wonder if it's both. I wonder if we can get both. Let's learn about Fang Fang's mother. After the father died, the grandfather beat up the doctor who treated his son. The mother secretly visited the doctor. She said the doctor was a good person who did nothing wrong. So, Zhao Chao Jun, wait, so Zhao had an affair with Ye. I can answer each person one question only. So, so the only thing that we learned about Feng Feng's mother is that after the grandpa went to go beat up the doctor, claiming that the doctor is the one who killed the son, the mom went and visited and had a talk and said that he was a nice man who did everything he could. Like, it was all right. His story checks out. I wonder if that is part of why she's disappeared. And what about Miss... Wait. Wait. Hold up, hold up. In order to know the answer, you, in order to, you have to give up something that is valuable to you, right? Valuable to you, right? So we know Miss Chen is the marble because to Miss Chen, the valuable thing was the little origami stars that she folded with Feng Feng. Right? Why was Feng Feng's mother's valuable item a crow feather? Why? Why why is her item the crow feather? Because if the marble is for Miss Chen, the crow feather must be for the mom. But why? Maybe the mother felt trapped in the family, identified with the birds. Like the death, like being caged up, maybe? Hmm. Wanting freedom, possibly, possibly. Let's ask about Miss, uh, Miss Chen for now. Maybe we'll find more information as we find more clues. Miss Chen is different from all, from other teachers. She's like a big sister. And is very gentle to us. 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 Curious. But she's also very mysterious. I asked her why she came here to teach. She always answered, That's a secret. Hmm. And that's all we get. That's all we're gonna get from them. So is this vase girl a student? The vase is not responsive. Hmm. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. Award. 
This is to certify that Qian Feng Feng won second prize in Qinghe City's secondary and primary school essay competition, 15th of March, 2004. 2004, when they died. This is just a couple of months prior. Oh my God. There's a crack on the certificate. Something seems to be hidden behind it. Huh? Wait, what? This is my certificate. There's another crack in it. Use the arrow keys to... What? People's hero is immortal? Commemorating the death of comrade Lin Chong Ming? Early 1987. 87? So like a whole 13 years before, I mean, like... Wait, what? Wei Bao Ping, armed fugitive who committed crimes across many provinces, entered our city upon receiving the news. Officer Lin Chongping <gasps> led the hunt for him. On the 10th of April, when searching through the apartment, Officer Lin Chongping found Wei, Bing, Wei Bao Ping. Wei fired his gun at the police. Officer Lin and his fellow officers fought back. In the gunfight, Officer Lin was shot in in the head. <sighs> this is the story of our dad. But what does it have how does it tie in with the Tian family? Outstanding student, representative of Ningxi Town, Qinghe City. The legacy of the hero Lin Li Shun. Lin Li Shun, who lost his. What? The hero was, but hero cannot exist forever. Oh, something school? I can't actually read it. it. It's cut out too far. A mirror is behind the picture frame. What? Oh, no, no. Um, the previous article was basically just talking about like the awards that we won the certificate that we won at school following the passing of our father that was that was a little thing it was just like talking about us and then the final one behind it is a mirror that shows us after my dad died in the course of performing his duty it seemed like my every move was being watched. What kind of school I was admitted to, what honors I received, my relationships with my classmates and teachers. All of those things that I acquired with my own hands, in their eyes, were a continuation of my dad's heroic spirit. My feeling of never being able to grow out from under the shadow of your father. Officer. Officer? Officer Lin. Uh, Miss Chen, where did you go just now? I was about to ask you the same thing. I turned around and you disappeared. I saw you staring at Fei Feng's certificate blankly as we came in. By the way, I discovered the door at the entrance is open. There's a dark staircase leading down. 
Let's go check it. This is the certificate Feng Feng won at the city's writing contest. She was really smart and adjective. If she hadn't passed away, she probably would have more opportunities. Can I take open the pages again? No, I can't. It seems to be Feng Feng's bed. Why is it piled up with stuff? I don't know. I remember hearing Fanny Fing say her grandmother didn't let her sleep in the same room with their mom since half a year ago. She slept in her grandma's room ever since then. Hmm. What happened to the mother? Yeah, she was still the baby. No kid should go through this stuff. How did Miss How did Miss Chen get through here? Like does she also know how to traverse using the uh inverted filters? Cause they're all sealed off, like hmm. any other clues? Ah Miss Chen. Have you ever heard of the Tian family's soul summoning stuff? Mm-hmm. Fang Feng's grandma found a witch in the city. The witch could summon the soul of the dead and attach it to herself. So relatives could talk to the dead through the witch. I told Fang Feng several times this was superstitious nonsense. But Fang Feng's grandparents were convinced. They often took Fang Feng with them. As we keep going down. There's a dark staircase leading downwards. You feel a cool gust of wind blowing through it. Do you wish to investigate? Yes. Assuming that's her mom in the backseat, her face is blank. I thought it was the... Oh wait, that is... Um... The daughter-in-law. That would be the that's the mom, yeah, that is, that does make sense, yeah. Yeah, Jing Shan. Oh This is the grandfather lashing out at the doctor. You killed my son. Oh wait, doctor? Okay, before we go check out on that, I wanna go look over here. Fall of furniture blocking the way. There's a key hanging inside the cabinet. Take the key. Okay. Nice. All right, let's go. Oh. Part of an award banner is hanging on the effusion stand. It reads, the benevolence of a doctor. Benevolence of a doctor. The key unlocks the door. Where's the doctor? This is strange. This isn't Ye's clinic. I remember this place. This is the People's Hospital of Qinghua City. The People's Hospital? How do we get here? Bye bye. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Let's get lots of sleep and lots of rest. Sweet dreams. I don't know. I always feel weird after entering Tian's house. It was like entering an illusion. Oh, who is this? Huh? It's Xiao. Ah, <gasps> it's Xiao. Xiao Zhuan. Who is she visiting? Let's follow her and see. Who is Xiao Zhuan visiting? Okay, but first, let's go check out the sites. Dead end or there? No notes. Nothing to read. Dead end over that side too. 
Oh, come on. <laughs> One, two, three. Do I have to pick? Oh, no. Hang on. Items. Is there a clue on which door we're supposed to enter? We'll just try them all. There's only three doors. Door number one. It's quiet in the room. Okay, so no, number one is quiet. You hear a conversation in the room. The doctor beaten up next door is from Ching Tan, right? Yep, someone died under his care. I have relatives in Ching Tan. They said the patient died, didn't do much good in his life, and got his retribution. What about this door? You hear a conversation in the room. I heard that a doctor was beaten up. Came, who was beaten up came here a few days ago. Yikes. Even had broken ribs. It's not easy to be a doctor these days. Okay. Let's go save. So there's gossip happening here. Gossip happening here. But this room has no gossip. So I bet you it's this one. It's quiet. Let's find out. Oh? Wait, what? Huh? What? Wow. Is that mom? It is! Dr. Ye, I'm Tian Yu's widow, Xiao. Xiao Chuan. Xiao Chuan? It is mom. Uh, I'm really sorry for your husband. Mm. Dr. Ye, I know you're a responsible doctor. It wasn't your fault. If he had gone to the hospital earlier rather than taking care of taking his parents' home remedy, things wouldn't have ended up this way. Dr. Ye, how are you feeling now? My ribs are set. They still hurt occasionally, but I'm fine. I'm sorry you have to go through these. My father-in-law might demand compensation in a few days. I've saved some money over the years. You can use it to deal with it. Oh. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh. Oops. I gotta stretch it out properly. There we go. <laughs> I tried to move the window and I grabbed it and then like stretched it out a little bit. I can't take your money. I don't have a family to care for. You do. Dr. Ye. You don't need to sympathize with me. I feel less guilty this way. By the way, Miss Xiao, I heard some rumors when I was in the hospital. You're not from Qingtan, are you? Nuh-uh. I'm not from around here. I'm like you. My parents are locals, but I'm not. Hmm. I've heard about that. People always said that no secret could remain undiscovered in Jingtan Tao. Seems to be true. Michelle, hospital's full of people. They will talk about your visit here. You should probably go. I appreciate your kindness. Dr. Yip, take care. Take good care of yourself. Can we keep talking, though? Some people in town have been visiting me occasionally. If they see you, they may think you're here for trouble. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe. Or maybe it was like one of those like, oh, 
we were born here, but we don't want our child to be raised here. So, like, we're going to send them off or something. Who knows? We're back at the Tian's house again. Oops. Miss Chen, did you catch on the rumors they mentioned just now? Yes, I've heard some rumors about Ye Jingshan. Isn't from Qingtan. He was adopted. Oh, he was adopted. Oh. And while well, he is said to be adopted, in reality, he was trafficked. Oh, that, that's a bit more extreme. I don't know if adopted is the right word for that. That's... Man, ooh. Trafficked. Are there any rumors about Chow? There are many rumors about her. Some people say she was tricked into coming to Qingtan. Some say that she married Tian Yu for his money. Some people even say that she behaved strangely after Tian Yu died, as if she'd lost her mind. As you saw just now, Zhao was a kind Zhao was a kind hearted person. Wait. Chen? Miss Chen can also see the visions that we are also seeing? Whoa. She wasn't obsessed with money and she wouldn't kill her own family. But Ye Jingshan didn't seem like a bad person either. We won't get any conclusions arguing like this. But I have a gut feeling we're getting closer to the truth about the Tian family case. I agree. Maybe the truth would be found here. Hmm. It's so dark. And we're back here again. Damaged family portrait on the wall. Why is Fang Fing missing? Let's go get the other... What happened to all the... the uh, like the stand and like the coat rack? Where, where did that... Where did all that go? Oh. Aww. A damaged doodle on the wall. Damaged doodle. Oh, oh my god, what the hell? Oh. It's that same frame again. The photo I just found fits well. for more accumulated sins. What the heck is going on? This is strange. What is this place? Looks like a photo studio. I heard that Xiao used to work in a photo studio. Tian, you met her there. What's wrong? Nothing. Hmm. Officer, you tend to keep thoughts in your mind. You can tell me if something is wrong. Miss Chen, I hope you won't mind what I'm about to say. I think you know the fam- I think you know the Tian family too well. It seems to me that you've gone out of your way to investigate them. They had come to Qingtan, covered a story previously, right? You seem to know a lot. You are right. I was a newspaper journalist before coming here as a volunteer teacher. After the case occurred, I investigated the Tian family. It was an old habit from my previous job. And that's why you said you'd send the evidence you found to the press. Since I spilled the beans about myself, can you tell me how you found out about my previous visit to Qingtan to cover a story here? It's 
complicated. I'll tell you later. Hey, you can't do that. I answered your question. It's hard to explain that, hey, we can see ghosts and the ghosts can tell us what happened in the past. Like, it's a little bit difficult to explain. I think I heard the sound of a camera shutter. Miss Chen, let's investigate the place first. Okay, you can... Okay, you have to answer my question after the investigation is done. A question for a question. It's fair. This is really cool. All right, let's see what's here. Aw, pictures. There's a photo coming out down there. Aw, cute. What the heck is in this photo? It's a photo sticker. It's popular these days. When I was in university, girls in my class loved taking these. The theme of the photo was set in advance. Hmm. Why do students like this kind of thing nowadays? I don't look good in the photo. It makes me look fat. Uh, Miss Chen, look. In the photo, there's something behind us. A black photo frame. Hmm? But there are no frames in the backdrop. Maybe something's wrong with the backdrop. Let's investigate. What? Okay. Like around, yeah, right here. The backdrop is made of paper. Tear the paper open. Wait, not yet. Let's go explore. Oh, puppy. A toy dog that can make noises. A decorative door with a bouquet hanging from it. And a dead end. Okay, I think that's it. Let's go tear down the paper. Tear it down? Yes. Obtain backdrop fragment. Okay, we now have the picture frame. Tian. Oh, this is Dan. Xiao Juan. Look at the house my dad built for us. It's so spacious. This place has great feng shui too. You can see the mountains and water as soon as you open the windows. Press Z to paste the backdrop fragment. Oh. Oh. Looks a bit empty. I think we should get some flowers and plants to decorate it. Xiao Juan, you're a photographer, so you understand better than I do. Can you take care of this? And now we're playing as the mom. A lot of my memories with Tian Yu are left here. These memories seem sweet, but unlike photos, they can't be preserved forever. A vase of flowers in full bloom. Take the vase? No. Let's check out the other stuff first. There's a basket of flowers on full bloom in the ground. Take it? Not yet. Small vase. A bouquet hanging from it. Tap the bouquet? No. Which one? All of them? Maybe all of them? Take the vase. Yes. Whoa. Oh, they're images. They're not real. Okay. Well, I guess this was real back then. But now, this vision we have, it's not real in the vision. 
flower fragment flower fragment take yes two here we go okay we have the flower fragments and now i think there's one more right no might be all Prezi to decorate the room. Oh, that's kind of cute. The room looks a lot better now. You're definitely a professional. Oh yeah, uh, Joe. The baby is about to come into the world. We have to prepare some small toys. You have good taste. Take some toys. I'm not sure the dog would count as a toy. Oh, it's a dog toy. Take the dog toy? Yes. Why are we... Why are we so violently ripping these apart? Mm, take the dog. Is it me... Or does that doll have a wound on its head? I don't know, chat. It might just be me. Maybe I'm imagining things. Okay. Those two toys? Here we go. Xiao Zhuan, thank you for the hard work. Our kid will love it. By the way, my parents mentioned that you were probably exhausted running the photo studio alone. You can move to my hometown, then you can focus on caring for our kid. Don't worry about money. My dad has asked someone to, my dad has asked someone to find me a job. I'll start earning money once I start the job. is riddled with holes will my future be fulfilling Ooh. guess the phone's coming from the other side well, that's a lot of phones whoa what we're Up and find the passbook. Mom, what happened? Miss Zhang was arrested by the police. Your father in law and I are thinking of paying some people to meet her again. This is bad. How can I see you in the future? Mom, don't worry. How much do you need? Doesn't matter. How much do we have? Okay, Mom, I'll go get the money now. Mm. Emily, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. This is like an absurd drama. It feels like my husband has died again. But I'm not as sad as I was when it happened the first time. I even feel a sense of relief. The made-up Tian Yu is like a bottomless pit, but they madly throw their money and energy into it. Wait. The made-up Tian Yu? What? Our dad? Is made up? I'm afraid of this madness. I'm afraid it'll devour Feng Feng. The 
witch seance. She assuming she means the ghost is you? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. And now this madness has finally come to an end. Why did, but why did they say that like the grandpa and grandma are going to pay someone to go see her again if it's a scam? Like, are they that desperate? Yeah, you as the husband, I know that much. You is already dead at this point, but like, so the witch was arrested and then even though she was arrested, the grandpa and grandma still want to go back. They're probably desperate to talk to you again, no matter what version of him. Yeah. That that makes the most amount of sense. They still want to talk to him, still want to be able to be there with you. So they think that the witch is still legitimate when she's not. Maybe they can't move on. Yeah. That's probably why. All right, let's keep on the lookout for the next portion. Oh! The person in the portrait disappeared, leaving only the black background. Oh! The grandparents? There are two paper dolls sitting in the seats in front of the TV. Whoa. Alright, let's keep going. Oh. Yeah, like this little coat hanger. All this stuff is like... The wall seems to be torn open. A scarlet brick wall is revealed behind it. Okay. Ooh. The door is locked. And that's a dead end. Okay, so it's... Oh! What was that sound? Whoa! A portrait appears on the wall out of nowhere. But what's... What's on the portrait? Why won't it show us? I want to see what's on the portraits. There's a crack in the wall. Tear open the crack. Yes, but later. Let's check out the other stuff first. There's a diary with the combination lock on the table. There might be clues to the combination. Is that... Fang Fang? So... Mom and dad, but why is dad's face looking like that? Interesting. Okay, let's find that combination. Dead end. Okay. It looks like there's another crack here, too. Tear open the crack. Yes. Obtained wall fragments. That looks less like a wall fragment, and it looks more like the silhouette of Fang Fang. Especially since the silhouette is lying on Fang Fang's bed. That's spooky. Why does it look like a body, right? Oh my god. What the heck? So if you tear this one, is this gonna be... Another body. Whoa. It seems the patterns in the two papers can two papers can be combined. I'll put them together and take a look. Okay. How do we combine them? Wall fragments. What? Oh, 
<sighs> oh, nine two two. Okay. You combine. Oh, you. Okay. So the way that you solve this is you. You take the paper and then you overlap them on top of each other, so they're like sleeping. And then it becomes nine. The circle becomes the head of the nine. And then the vertical bar becomes the tail of the nine. And then the uh, the twos are pretty easy. It's the curve and then the base. So, so it's nine, two, two. Oh, it is Fang Fang's birthday, September 22nd. Yeah. Good catch. Nine. Two. Oh, wait. Oops. Nine. Two. Two. The diary is unlocked. Nine, two, two. That's Peng Peng's birthday. The style of the cover page doesn't look like a child's diary. Hmm. Perhaps this is Xiao Jia. Zhao Xiao Chuan's diary. Perhaps this is Mom's diary. Let's see what's inside. It's blank. Oh, okay. 19th of May. Today, father and mother went to visit old Lady Zhang. Old Lady Zhang was arrested for fraud and superstitious activities. She might be in prison for a long time. I had no idea what father and mother said to the old lady Zhang, but they looked less distressed on the way back. Oh, look at Feng Fei. Look how cute. Look how happy she is. Oh. Why do we not have a face? Hmm. 26th of May. Feng Feng's artwork. Miss Chen said Feng Feng had talents in the arts. She could try participating in some competitions. And it would help her further her education. <laughs> oh. Wait. What? Why was... Why, would, why did it tear? 2nd of June. A few days ago, Mother said she wanted to spend more time with Fang Fang. She wanted Fang Fang to sleep over with her that night. I wanted to see Saint. I wanted to see Fang Fang in Mother's room, but the door was locked. 9th of June. I don't know if I'm being paranoid, but I always feel that someone is watching me. So that's why her item is the crow's feather. I found a dead crow in our yard this morning. I buried her. <sighs> June 16th. Today, a sapling grew in the place where the crow was buried. These aren't even entries, it's just the artwork now. Some of the leaves in the sapling had turned yellow. It looked ugly, if not pruned. Why does... Why does the scissor have, like, blood on it? Oh. Oh. Mm. Xiao Zhuan. Zhao Xiao Zhuan. <laughs> A lot of people kind of zone out in this in this game. Apparently, everyone is like focused on paying paying attention to something else to get distracted. Oh. Oh. 
Xiao Zhuan. Mom, why are you staying up so late? I felt like someone was on the balcony just now, so I came to have a look. The plant seems to have moved, and there's a few dry leaves on the ground that have just been trimmed off. Hmm. That's Yu's favorite plant. Before Miss Zhang was arrested, Yu often asked about this plant through her. Hmm. Perhaps Yu was worried about it, so he came back to have a look. I'll ask the witch in the neighboring town tomorrow. Ah. <sighs> I've just been uneasy since Miss Zhang was arrested. Mom, don't worry. Dad should be able to find Dad should be able to find a solution. Ah, oh, you're right, Xiao Zhuan. The balcony is windy. Don't catch a cold. And get some rest early. Mm hmm You too. So that plant right here that we're looking at, you can kind of see it, um, like right there, like underneath the the railings. You gotta see it through between these two pillars right there. That's the same plant that we went and investigated last time, and it was it was like a scene of like the grandfather getting mad and like threatening to hurt the doctor. Okay, so that door. Whoa. The two paper dolls. Ah, oh, the paper dolls are so eerie. The sound of eating is coming from the kitchen. Ugh, I don't like that sound. Open the door. Yes. Let's find out. Oh, well, there's no one here. The dagger is locked by a chain. There is a ring in the groove of the lock. We need another ring to unlock the diary. Whoa. What? I passed the woods when I came to Tian House. This is the Tian family's ancestral graveyard. After the Tian family died, they were buried here. Ooh. A dark path leads to the graveyard. Enter. Yes. What a transition. Yeah. Follow me, Miss Chen. Huh? Miss Chen, what's wrong? I think I heard Fang Fang's voice. She asked me to follow her. Follow her. I don't know what she meant, but it's foggy and there's a lot of branches in the road. It'd be easy to get lost. We need to pay attention to the surroundings. Yeah. Okay. Pay attention to the surroundings? Looks like it's one, two, and three. Okay, so the answer is two. Uh... This one, maybe? Ooh. Okay, so it's two, three. Oh. Whoa. That's kind of cool. A piece of paper is stuck on a tree trunk. My body will not rot in the mud. Like a bird, I will die in the sky. Hey, it's the same poem that we saw last time. I've seen this poem at the crime scene. I heard that Xiao Zhuan's Zhao, Zhao suicide note. I wonder what happened on the day of the incident that caused Xiao to leave, a, leave such a suicide note. 
I believe we'll find the answers soon. Whoa. Whoa. That's kind of spooky. Oh, right here in the middle. What is that? Oh, the fish. There's a plate of fish in front of the grave. A red scale is particularly eye-catching. Ah, oh, what the hell? Is that a finger? That's not a scale, that's a finger. Oh my god, that's so gross. A pale finger appeared from the opening. There's a ring on that finger. Obtained the ring. Ooh. Paper dolls appear at a distance. Their gazes are cold. Now that we have the ring, let's go place the ring inside. Insert the ring. Yeah! The lock is open. How much longer is in this game? Does anyone know how many, um, like how much, what percentage we're in? <sighs> I'm feeling myself like getting EBs. 7th of July. Someone has secretly eaten the fish in the kitchen again. I could not remember how many times it was. Tian Yu was the only person who loves to eat fish other than Feng Feng. I have no intention to scare myself, but what is going on? 14th of July. I found some cigarette stubs while cleaning up the house. The only person who smoked in this house is Tian Yu. What's going on? Is Tian Yu back? 21st of July. I went to the bathroom to get some sleeping pills. Otherwise, I could not sleep. I start to believe that Tian Yu had returned. He must be watching me in the corner. I can't stand it anymore. Tian Yu is around me. He's back. Oh, oh no. No, she's... She might be misattributing all the things that are happening around. Yeah. Was he really back? <gasps> okay. Either she wrote this herself in red ink, or Tian Yu really is back. Or someone is tricking her, yeah. Whoa, that transition. Oh my god. That was pretty cool. We're only like a little bit halfway. Ooh. Mom. Xiao Juan, my leg is in pain again. Will you go to the pharmacy and pick up some medicine for me? Wait. My leg is in pain? I thought... I thought Xiao Zhuan went to the clinic to get cough medicine. Or is this a different incident? Go to the one to the west of town. Don't go to Ye's clinic. Okay, it's a different clinic. Different clinic. Sure. Get some rest, mom. Don't push yourself too hard. It's an old injury. I'll be fine. Xiao Juan, you don't look well lately. Are you alright? 
I'm fine, Mom. It's probably just I haven't been sleeping well. By the way, Mom, how about Feng Feng going to school in the city? What do both of you think? Miss Chen told me that since Feng Feng has won the city's contest, applying for school in the city should be easy. It's not convenient for me to go to the city, and your father-in-law isn't willing to go. We only have a few more years to live. We'd like to spend more time with Feng Fei. Can you let her stay in this town for just a few more, for a few more years? Okay. Hmm. I really like the mom's outfit. I don't know the the jacket. It's really nice and classy. My mother-in-law wouldn't allow me to go to Dr. Ye's clinic to get medicine. The other pharmacy in the west of town. Keep going left, I'll get there. What? Uncle Wang, I would like a pack of cigarettes. Why are you staring at me? What's the matter? Have you seen a ghost? You? Is that you? Is it... You... You don't recognize me. I'm Tianyu. Tian Yu. You switched off your lights at night. No wonder you can't recognize me. Stop staring at me. Give me my cigarettes. I'm in a hurry. Sh sure. Oh, I forgot to bring a lighter. Would you give me a light? I... Oh no. I'm gonna prepare for a jump scare. It sounds like it's it sounds like it's gonna be a jump scare moment. Are you You really wanna smoke? Uncle Wang, why are you acting weird today? Why are you refusing to give me a light? No, no. Uh, here you go. That's weird. Why is it not lighting up? Let me try. <gasps> Uncle Wang? Why am I here? Gave me this pack of cigarettes. Shaojuan, you bought it. You were alone this whole time. No one else was with you. I don't have a strong heart. Don't scare me like that. Possession gets more and more desperate to see her husband again, and as she does, she becomes more and more vulnerable. Oh, and then as she becomes more vulnerable, she becomes more susceptible to getting or experiencing like supernatural phenomenon happening around her. Takes care of the flowers that dad planted. Smokes the cigarettes that dad smoked. Hey. Mm. 
Hmm. Mom has short hair, right? <laughs> Smokes the same cigarettes that dad used to. And does a lot of things dad liked to, too. It's an up on, uh, what happened to mom? I guess you guys are right, Chad. It does look like it's a possession thing. The reason why mom keeps doing the things that dad used to do is because dad's spirit is trying to take over mom. So, Zhao Xiao Chuan was possessed by Tian Yu's spirit. This is absurd. No wonder Wan, no wonder Wan Jingkai said Xiao was mad after the Tian family murder case. I would think the same thing if I saw it. But I still think something doesn't make sense. Don't you see something strange about this? Every time Xiao, Zhao, Zhao behaved weirdly, her mother-in-law was nearby. That's... that's right. Because her mother-in-law was the one who even asked her to go... get medicine. Huh. As if she was secretly monitoring her. And remember Xiao, Xiao Zhuan's diary, where she said, I feel like someone is watching me. Yeah. Could be coincidence. Being in the same place while living under the same roof is pretty normal. Unless the coincidence happened again. Is Xiao back? This is Zhao Xuan. Oh my goodness, Xiao. Bedroom. If this was her, she'd walk in. She wouldn't have knocked. I'll see who it is. So who is it then? Where do you want to see through? The window or the door? The door seen? Let's just do the window. It'd be the obvious one. Thanks for stopping by, Esme. Hope you have a wonderful night. Please get lots of rest and lots of uh, baby, baby. lots of rest and sweet dreams. A distorted human figure has appeared outside the door. You are unable. You are unable to identify the person. Okay, what if we check out the door scene? There are two shadows dividing the light shining through the scene. Someone is standing outside the door. Press Z to get down and have a look. Santa Bear, thank you so much for the super chat. Coffee and biscuit fun, thank you, thank you. Feet. Oh. The person is coming through the door. Find a place to hide now. What? What? Hide. Oh. Miss Chen, hide in the closet. What? Mom, Dad, Fang Fang, food is ready. What? Whoa. A 
a distant voice. We don't know who it was, but someone unidentified said, Mom, Dad, Feng Feng. Mom, Dad, Feng Feng. Wait. Mom, Dad, Feng Feng. Mom and Dad are the grandparents. It's the grandparents. Mom, Dad. Then who? Okay. It. Hmm. The distant voice. I think it had to be. The lighter, yeah, I think it's it has to be you. But then who was the person in the closet? Okay, so it's... Mm. No, 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 I mean like, yeah, we are hiding. Miss Chen and Lin are hiding in the closet, right? And then this other person knocks on Xiao's door and then comes into the room, is about to open the closet when Tian Yu from the kitchen says, Mom, Dad, as in Grandpa, 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 Grandma, and Feng Feng, his daughter. Dinner is ready. The whole family come over, right? So, probably the grandma. Maybe. Like the old-fashioned slippers and like the raggediness. Mm. Yeah, it might have been grandpa or grandma. Because the grandma is the most sus character right now. I think I heard Feng Feng's voice just now. I felt like she pulled me into the closet. Mm -hmm. I felt that too. I feel like Feng Feng has been helping us even at the grands, even at the ancestral graveyard. Mm. By the way, did you see who that person was? It should be Tiang Chang Rong. Oh, the grandpa, the grandfather. But if Tian Chang Rong has a key, why did he knock before entering? I think he was checking if anyone was in the room. See, I knew that Xiao, Xiao John's in laws were suspicious. Both grandpa and grandma are suspicious, but grandpa is obviously suspicious for engaging in like cultural like artifact selling <laughs> maybe they were behind Zhao's spirit possession anyway let's continue investigating the vicinity Tian Xiangrong might have left something there alright maybe we can find some clues oh someone had opened the diary If the grandpa opened the diary, whoa. Do you think, mm, why would the grandpa be opening the diary and reading through, reading through it? There's a burning candle at the door. Investigate other places. Dead end. Dead end. Okay. Will you do something after he enters? Maybe. I'm not sure though. Leap over the candle and leave the room. Jumping over the fire is a Chinese thing after attending a funeral. After attending it. Oh. Come back. Parents shed tears, drenching their clothes. The wife and daughter's faces are filled with sorrow. I yearn for my... Oh, could be the last one. Someone is sobbing outside the window.
There's a black bridge up ahead. Ah, oh, spider lilies. Chat, look at the spider lilies. A river covered in mist is ahead of you. Let's go. Illuminate the road ahead with bright candles. Bribe the ghost guards with spirit money. Ooh. Leave your money here and you shall pass. Leave here if you did not take money with you. Hand over ancestor money. Whoa. Oh, the or the folding origami, yeah. To meet the little boats, the ingots. Focus on lies, what had, and don't care about the past. Okay, we're moving forward. I guess we keep moving forward. Sprinkle brown rice on the path home. Guide the spirit back with the plain flag. Ooh. Oh, we'll go the other way now. Ooh. Oh. What? I wonder where we're going after all. Wow. The colors. Oh my god. Where did Miss Chen go? Families embrace. We put a lot of effort to be reunited. We can't afford any mistake. Xiao Zhuan, the steam the fish is steaming on the stove. Keep an eye on the fire in case it goes out. Okay. Do we just stoke the fire? Lots of fire. Whoa. Whoa. This game is just showing off with the transitions. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Sinner. Though he did not rob graves, he benefited from them. His sins are unforgivable. This must be our father. Or grandpa. He will suffer 163.84 million years of dismemberment in his father's stead. In his father's stead, Tian, you had to suffer all of that? 163 million years? He must not leave until his term is due. I guess this is what he had to suffer for millions of years. Whoa. On the slate lies a bloody person. The ring on his hand is particularly conspicuous. This is the ring that pairs with Xiao, Xiao Xiao Zhang's. 
Is this person Tianyu? It has to be. Provide the flesh to stay. Seal the wandering soul to embrace your wife. Xiao Juan, eat the fish. That's delicious. Your mom made this especially for you. Tianyu was being tortured here all along. There's no way he could possess Xiao Chuan. Tian Yu's spirit was trapped in hell, suffering all these years of torture. There's no way his spirit could be the one to possess Yao. Then what was summoned by the Tians? Was Xiao really possessed? Grandpa, Grandma. Mom doesn't like fish. Don't force her to eat it. What? Hurry up, you'll definitely like it. Come on, dig in. Eat you. Eat. Eat. Whoa. changed it's that red again mom the fish is really delicious where did Xiao Zhuan go the couple is united forever Relive their joyful life. What? A fire? Oh my god. That's Xiao Zhuan's diary. So it's not Xiao Zhuan being possessed by Tian Yu's spirit. Her spirit was replaced with Tian Yu's spirit. So it's not Tian Yu possessing his wife. It's the grandparents performing their ritual to make their son's spirit take over Xiao Zhuan's body. Yeah, they swapped. They got him back in. Now she suffers forever. She's been here suffering this. The plastic lock has melted due to the high temperature. The diary cannot be opened because the melted lock is stuck against the pages inside. I don't know if something new was written on it. And I'm not sure if Xiao, Xiao Zhuan was really possessed by something, or for some reason she pretended to be possessed by Tian Yu and deceived everyone. Why? She just pretended? This diary is like the pond that has never that has been used and abandoned. The secrets inside might be buried forever in this endless hell with Twin Tian Yu. Wait, so Oh 
Okay, so now we have... <sighs> okay, so they... All right, so that makes... Okay, that's a bit easier to, to like, process. Because it, it was a little question, like, if they did swap their souls, how how powerful would the grandparents had to have been in order to do that? But this explains, they didn't swap souls. Tian Yu is dying, is still suffering. And Xiao Zhuan was the one that just pretended to be possessed. Maybe she was brainwashed. It wouldn't make sense though. Like I can't understand where the brainwashing would come in, you know? Hey, do you still want to continue investigating the Tian family's murder case? Wait, is that... Who was orange again? A dusty cloth is covering a full-length mirror. Here we go. A mirror is reflecting a familiar figure. That's us. Yo. It's been a long time. Last I saw you, you were still at the police academy, right? What case were you working on? A murder case in which a body was hidden. Oh, yeah. You helped the police find the body. I heard that you were given an exception to transfer to the criminal investigation department right after you graduated because of this. This police uniform suits you quite well. Why are you here? Hey, why are you so obsessed with the Tian family case? Doesn't matter who the murderer is, they're, de they're dead anyway. I'm a cop now. It's my duty to bring justice to the dead. <laughs> Where did you learn this cliche? Even if you find the murderer, will it do you any good? Remember, you have to handle more big cases and collect more honors. Give up this case. There is a bigger case, right? in front of you. What case? You know it. I don't know what you're talking about. Then answer me. Why did you allow Chen Qingxi to get involved in the investigation? What? What do you mean? allow her to get involved she was doing this on her own but it never explained what uh oh wait now now I'm a little bit wait The volunteer teacher's name at the obituary was blacked out. We never confirmed if Miss Chen really was the volunteer teacher. We just assumed it was her. We never confirmed that it was her, did we? And the game didn't show her face either. Who? Who is she? She knows the Tian family well. She knows the Tian family very well. I believe she can provide a lot of clues. You're avoiding the main point. She's reliable. She seems reliable and she's helped a lot. Oh, please. I wouldn't believe these excuses. Okay. 
I know you don't want to answer my question. You haven't changed at all. You like to keep secrets. Let me tell you. By allowing Chen Ching Sui to join you in the investigation, you can take the opportunity to learn more about the tomb robbery, Tian Xiang Rong Park Tukin. You know it's a big case. If you could bring down an entire grave robbing syndicate, you'll gain a lot of contributions. Chen Ching Sui and Fang Fan were close. So you want to get more clues from Chen? Did I get you wrong? I know exactly what you're thinking. I'm different now. Yeah, I grew a little taller, a little more immature. But you still haven't changed. You need more approval and honors. I know that nothing will come out from investigating the Tian family murder case. But I want to get the answer to this question that's been bothering me all this time. It's right here. What's the question? Since you can read my mind, why ask me? Hmm. Lin Li Shun. You can't change the outcome of the case. What? Oh. What the heck? Li Shun. Li Shun. Li Shun. <laughs> Everyone's zoning out in this game. They've used that, um, like, hey, are you dozing off? Are you daydreaming again? Transition like five times now. <laughs> this place is the criminal investigation department. <sighs> Bring your chat to work day. Now I'm fully lost. Your VA work was amazing. Nah. <laughs> Nah, that's like a that's like a flay on thing. That's not I can't do that. Um the thing that we're like confused about is basically the f it's either dad or like the younger version of us that lives under dad's shadow is mocking us, making fun of us about how we're supposedly trying to solve this case to like seek justice and bring you know closure to all people who are involved right but there's the cynical part of us that's saying no you're only doing this because you want people to like you you're only doing this because you get more medals more accolades more commendations you know that's the kind of stuff that that's the reason why you're doing it. you don't actually care about these people you only want to have that pride for yourself that you were able to do this kind of stuff you know so it's kind of like that. Yeah, trying to act like a hero, exactly. Free spirit fan, thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Good luck with your shift tomorrow. Or all next week. Good luck with your morning shifts. All right, thank you for the super chat. Always help us up the mood so well. It makes the game even easier to get into. You're really good. You're good at it, too. It's just different ways. Ah. <laughs> Shucks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this super chat. You bring horror, ominous nature in your voice. Do I just have like an evil voice? Do I just sound? Do I have that like cadence where if I just talk normally, it it sounds like I'm being evil? <laughs> All right. There's some materials of the Tian family's case in the cabinet. Which do you read up on? No. Okay. Good. Someone said, I, I saw chat earlier mentioning that I had an evil laugh, and I was like, why an evil laugh? <laughs> okay. The poisoning and fingerprints, or the motive? Let's do both. Poisoning and fingerprints first, though. Tetramethyl... Tetramethylene disulfur... Disulfotetramine? Tets. 
R-A-T-P-O-I-S-T-E-T-S, commonly known as rat poison, was detected in Xiao... Rat poison was detected in Xiao Zhuan's sleeping pills. Some of the capsules inside the medicine bottle were filled with rat poison. The sleeping pills were purchased from the town's clinic three months before the incident. Poisonous components were not detected in the same batch of sleeping pills. This basically ruled out the possibility of poisoning by the clinic staff. There are three different fingerprints on the bottle cap. One is from Xiao Chuan. The other two fingerprints are still being matched. Fingerprints. Okay, so the first one on the left belongs to Xiao Chuan. We don't know who the other two belong to. The small one in the middle might be Feng Feng's. All right, what about the motive? The townspeople said that Xiao Chuan behaved strangely before the incident. She suspected to suffer from schizophrenia. There weren't any obvious conflicts within the Tian family. Combining the notes, combining the notes suspected to be Xiao Chuan's suicide note that she left at the crime scene, we speculate she suffered from mental illness and had suicidal thoughts long before the incident. In conclusion, Xiao Chuan had been suicidal for a long period of time. Due to her mental illness, she put the poison she intended to commit suicide with inside the kanji. This caused both this caused the death of the three other members of the Chia family. Hmm. Really though? That doesn't make sense. Why? That was what was officially reported in these um for lack of a better term, reports. But we don't know if that's true. It doesn't seem right. It doesn't feel like something that you would do, you know? Yeah, something's not adding up. The reports were filed in a way to almost make it seem like, oh, it's the story is over, you know. I wonder why the reports are written that way. Hmm. Outsiders have no idea that the Tian family has a strange relationship. Even Xiao Xuan's madness could be a disguise. But if I share these facts with Captain Liu, would they believe me? Ooh. Uh oh. Sorry, Chad, I had to cough. I uh, got really bad coughing, but. Three, thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful night. Get lots of rest and sweet dreams. You don't sound evil by default. Want to see you dip into more of the darker side, though? Ooh, that could be fun. I just need, like, a theme. Hello? This is Chen. Hello, Miss Chen. This is Xiao Chuan. Miss Xiao, Feng Feng's transfer has been approved. Thank you so much, Miss Chen. I didn't do so. I didn't do. I didn't do much. Feng Feng is a good kid. Seeing the outside world will create more opportunities for development. By the way, are Feng Feng's grandparents okay with it? Last time you said her grandparents did not want her to leave the town. Mm-hmm. They ended up agreeing with the idea. Good to hear that. Miss Chen, I also found the thing that you were looking for. I'll send it to you when you get the chance. What? The thing that you were looking for. What? What would she be looking for? Mm. <clears throat> Miss Xiao, you're a great help. I'm the one who should thank you. Without your help, Fang Feng and I would not be able to leave this place. Oh, they're coming back soon. Keep in touch. Oh. Oh my 
my god. <laughs> Attorney Amusing, thank you for the super chat. You have an amazing story, teller's voice. Once again, the street's been a wonderful company for a long drive. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. I I try. I just try. She was trying to help them leave, yeah. You disappeared again. I've been looking all over for you. Miss Chen. What is the thing that you were looking for that Xiao Zhuan mentioned? <sighs> Since you found out, I'll tell you about it. When I was a journalist, I came to Qingtan to cover a story. I heard that Tian Qiangrong and Wang Jingkai were selling cultural relics. The press asked me to come to Qingtan under the guise of a volunteer teacher. After further investigation, I discovered that Qiangrong used, used to work in a bank. He habitually recorded each transaction, transaction on his ledger. Ledger? The thing that we saw at the beginning of the game? Xiangrong had some big name clients, so you can guess how important this ledger was to him. So you used Feng Feng to approach the Tian family. Mm -hmm. Because of Feng Feng, Xiao Zhuan and I slowly got to know each other. She wanted to take Feng Feng out of, Qing, out of Qingtan, but Xiangrong and his wife wouldn't allow her. So I made a deal. She would help me find the she helped me find the ledger, and I promised that. Once Xiang Rong and her accomplices were arrested, she could leave Qingtan with Feng Feng safely. <clears throat> Miss Chen, have you got the ledger? Before I could get it, Feng Feng's family had been murdered. I don't know where the ledger is. Now many things are starting to make sense. Nunchido, thank you for this. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. You were good at VA. I want to say any, anyways, because I want to say thank you for being relaxing and shooting, soothing. But a koi got ahead of me, and I'll confirm you can absolutely voice that. And you're good at ah, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. I'll keep, I'll keep practicing and trying to do more. <clears throat> Officer, what did you find from your investigation? Sorry, Miss Chen. Since you've shared so much information, I don't want to hide anything from you. But this isn't the time yet. I still need to investigate something important. Where? I found information on a bottle that contained poison, and on the bottle cap, there are three fingerprints. Perhaps the key to solve the Tian family's case lies in these three fingerprints. Let's try to find a match for the fingerprints in the Tian family's house. Alright. Time to go look for clues. Oh. There's a fingerprint on the iron. I don't have any professional equipment at hand, so I can only use tapes to extract the fingerprint. I'll see if there's any tape first. Where would we find tape? In like a classroom? Or like a... <clears throat> like a dresser drawer thing? Oh, it's right there. There's a roll of tape in the cabinet. Let's go. Alright. There's the fingerprint. Extract the fingerprint. Obtained a fingerprint one. All right, now let's look for the other fingerprints. Where could they be? Let's check out the other parts of the house. Maybe we'll find something like inside this side here, because there's two rooms. Oh, ooh, what is here? The diary mentioned that Feng Feng slept with her grandma in the same room. They're probably worried about the soul summoning ritual that would affect Feng Feng. Ah. 
right there. There's a fingerprint on the clock with a unique residue. Press Z to extract. Fingerprint two. <clears throat> Dead end. All right, let's keep going. One more fingerprint. If only real life investigations were this clean, right? Let's see. Where would diary? Oh, the toy camera. There's a colorful fingerprint on the toy camera. <laughs> yeah. There we go. They have all the fingerprints. Now all the corresponding fingerprints in the bottle cap are collected. After magic fingerprints, I should be able to figure out the culprit behind the poisoning. Mm-hmm. Chapter 5. The bird. Ooh. <laughs> We've confirmed Xiao Zhuan's fingerprint. We can start matching the three fingerprint samples we have collected just now. Which fingerprint will you choose? I mean, this they make it pretty easy, so let's go with fingerprint number what? Three? We can get them done in order. Oh wait, we have to go left to right, left to right. Okay, okay, left to right. So fingerprint one. Fingerprints matched. Mom, what are you doing? Nothing. Have you finished your homework? Yeah, I finished it. Mom. Are you sick? I'm okay. These are sleeping pills. They help me sleep better. Can I have one, Mom? You're a kid. You don't have enough worries to keep you up all night. Will your worries be gone after having this? Yeah. I wake up without any worries. I see. That's why you look happier today. Oh yeah, my birthday's coming soon. Of course I remember. I'll buy you a big kick. Yes. Listen to me. Kids cannot take this medicine. Fang Fing is a good kid, so don't touch it, okay? Okay, I won't touch it. I think Chad and I are on the same page with this. Oh. <laughs> I think Chad and I are on the same page. Fingerprints matched. Judging by the size, this is a child's fingerprint with some traces of crayon on it. This is probably Feng Feng's fingerprint. Feng Feng's fingerprint. If mom takes these, then she can sleep well. And the worries don't trouble her. So you gotta make sure that mom doesn't run out. She stole it? Why would Fei Feng steal the sleeping bills? Steal it? I thought it was just adding the red poison in there. Let's match the last fingerprint first. Yeah, we might as well finish the whole thing first. 
The residue in the fingerprint is quite unique. It's the residue from the scratch-up part of a lottery ticket. Let's be the grandpa, right? Fingerprint is probably from, yeah, Xiang Rong, the grandpa. Tian Xiang Rong. It's both of them. Hey, are you sure you want to do this? I think I can handle seeing you once a week. Don't you want to see you every day? Of course I do, but... You've seen it yourself? She's really possessed by you. Miss Yang said if Xiao Zhuan's soul leaves her body when we summon Yu's soul over, he can stay in her body forever. That way, her son will live with us again. Don't worry. The poison I got is strong. She will die quietly. So the body can remain complete. <sighs> Poisoning an adult to death. I'm afraid we'll get caught. If anyone asks, just say our daughter-in-law has gone mad and committed suicide by taking rat poison. I've told Wang Jingkai. He'll testify. Is he trustworthy? <gasps> this must be why he was so shocked and terrified to see Xiao Zhuan just casually walking around getting cigarettes and smoking. <laughs> because he know he knew the plan. He knew that she was supposed to be poisoned and die. But there she was, right in front of him, just casually smoking, talking like you. We've worked together for many years. He's never leaked anything. If I get caught, he won't go away as well. He won't get away as well. All right then. But that doesn't explain how it got to the kanji later. Tian Xiangrong is the one who poisoned. <sighs> I told you, Xiao Zhuan was innocent. She wouldn't ever harm Feng Feng. Miss hmm. Chen, it shouldn't be that simple. Tian Xiangrong laced the sleeping pills with poison. He knew Xiao Zhuan was the only person who took them. He was a very cautious person. He wouldn't put the poison in the kanji. Yeah, so who put the poison in the kanji then? Because we just saw the 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 flashback. Xiao Rong only wanted to kill Xiao Zhuan. Only her. No one else. So how would the poison have ended up inside the kanji that ended up killing the rest of them, you know? Then who put the poison in the kanji? Now I only have one speculation. That Tian's family murder case was an accident, but it was also the inevitable result of the accumulation of conflicts. Do you mean... It began with the death of Tian Yu. How exactly did he die? Tianyu died from epilepsy. Well, that was quick. I wish every single game would answer my question this quickly whenever I asked it. <laughs> Tianyu died from epilepsy. After his death, the Tian family grieved for a long time. Missing their son, Tian Yu's mother, He Guilan, repeatedly asked Miss Zhang, a witch, to summon Yu's soul. And the catalyst to the event was Miss Zheng's 
arrest. I guess after Ms. Zeng was arrested, Xiao Rong paid her to get the soul summoning method. Soul summoning requires a living person for the soul to attach itself to. Xiao Zhuan was the best choice for the Tians. Maybe Feng Feng overheard the secret regarding their soul summoning plans. And she told Xiao Zhuan about this. So, Xiao Zhuan decided to play along and pretended to be possessed by Tian Yu. Wait a minute. Why did Xiao Zhuan pretend to be Tian Yu? Miss Chen, did you forget? Xiao Rong and his wife didn't allow Feng Feng to study in the city at first, but then they suddenly agreed. Could it be? Xiao Zhuan pretended to be Tian Yu so she could persuade them. <sighs> yeah. Mom, Dad, it's me, your son. Also, I suddenly want to send my child outside to another city. Yes. Xiao Zhuan hoped to bring Feng Feng out of the town, but her in-laws didn't allow it. The only person the family could convince the grandparents who, sorry, <clears throat> and the only person in the family who could con who could convince the grandparents was the deceased Tian Yu. Xiao Zhuan's plan went well, and Feng Feng was allowed to study in the city. However, she underestimated how much her in-laws missed Tian Yu. The soul summoning ritual can only be held once in seven days. Xiang Rong wanted to see Tian every day, which triggered his murderous plan. Hmm. So, the actual person who put the poison in was... She was the person who witnessed everything, but couldn't understand what happened. Miss Chen, you should know who I'm talking about. No, oh, that's impossible. This is currently the most reasonable explanation. The fingerprints of the bottle cap weren't the key to solving the case. The order of the fingerprints is. Feng Feng stole the sleeping pills after Tian Jiang Rong laced them with poison. What she stole was poison. If I'm correct, that's what happened on the day of the accident. Xiao Zhuan. Xiao Zhuan. Mom? Xiao Zhuan, I've had a cough over the last few days. Will you get some medicine? The one from Kangjian. The brand's medicine works well. Okay. Also, Aunt Lee said you went to Ye again for medicine. How many times have I told you not to go to his clinic? Mom, his clinic is legitimate, and his medicine is good and cheap. Legitimate, my ass. He couldn't even treat you. Hurry up. All right. It's the grandparents' fault, yeah. <sighs> Feng Feng, no. No. My grandparents have never smiled since Dad died. 
Grandma burns incense and prays to Buddha every day. Grandpa always hides in the balcony and cries secretly. I hope they'll stop being sad. She couldn't have known she was just a small kid. <sighs> Grandma and Grandpa said today is soul summoning day. Actually, I know that mom was pretending to be dead, just like the old lady. Every time she pretended to be dead, mom had to eat fish which she hated. Grandma says that mom and loves me and dad very much, so she will do things that she doesn't like. Was it because she loved me that she ate the fish? But I don't want mom to do things she doesn't like just because she loves me. I hope mom can do what she likes. <sighs> mom said there would be a... <sighs> mom said there would be no worries after taking the medicine. Then when I wake up, mom and grandma and grandpa will be happy. <sighs> Fang Fang, what are you doing? Mom forgot to turn off the stove when she went out, so I'm helping her watch it. <sighs> She's too forgetful. Save some food for her. Let's eat first. doing we're leaving this place after the national day and packing up our clothes <laughs> mom the white dress is gorgeous why didn't you wear it <sighs> mom is just too old for this no oh, i think you're still young Please wear this the next time we go to the park. I want to take photos of you. I'm really glad you're such a sweet girl, Van Fang. The dress is a bit wrinkled. Let me iron it.
so that's where the fingerprint came from. This must be... <sighs> this must have been just right after she got back home and realized what happened. superior but the evidence is lacking so it's very likely that I understand that's not the result I wanted to see either would people believe that Fang Fang accidentally poisoned the family out of good intentions They'd only think that Feng Feng killed the whole family due to mischievousness. Sorry for taking up all your time for nothing, Officer Lin. This place seems to have changed back. Mm -hmm. The sound of a door opening comes from the entrance. Miss Chen. There's nothing left to be investigated. I want to tell you one more thing before we leave. I lied to you. I got the ledger before the incident occurred, and I sent it to the press. <laughs> it's okay, Miss Trump. Handing it to the press is the same as handing it to us. It's good as long as we can expose Tian Qiangrong's transactions with his buyers. Mm -hmm. Let's go then. <laughs> Maybe with the ledger finally out there and all the crimes finally being exposed. Maybe then the spirits will finally let the family rest in peace. Stop tormenting them and torturing them. Like that. Officer Lin, I think I have left something back at Tian's house. 
I'll be right back. Sure. I'll be waiting for you here. A voice call record is shown on the screen. Hello? Qingxi? Wait. What? Wait, this is... That's orange. That's... Hi, Chief. It's me. See. I've received the ledger. No one else has read it, right? I'm the only one. Why are the names of our company executives on it? This happened. That happened a long time ago, and the laws weren't strictly enforced at that time. So. Will their names be published? Qingxi. Some of the names on there can, can be made public. Some can't for now. And some will never be known to the public. Hmm. After all, it's good that now we've got the ledger. Qingxi. I've done a fantastic job. The credit is not mine. I heard about what happened to the Tian family. What a shame you weren't able to thank the Zhao in person. Don't get too hung up on it, Jingzi. Also, now that Tian Xiangrong is dead, the buyers might search his house for the ledger. If it isn't safe for you to stay there, you should return as soon as possible. Mm hmm Chief, I have to prepare for class. Hmm. Being a volunteer, volunteer teacher is nothing but a disguise. Don't fall too deep into the role. I'll send someone to pick you up tomorrow. How does that sound? Can you give me three more days? I want to sort some stuff out. And I have another request. After the article is published, can you remove my name from it? Uh, why? We'll talk when we meet, Chief. Okay. Make sure you stay... What? Make sure you stay safe? Why? Why is it in red? What? Did Miss Chen make it back? Where did Miss Chen go? Have you seen Miss Chen? How long has it been since we last came to school? Has she gone missing? How can she be missing? Ah, oh, that's really loud. <laughs> Greetings, residents. This is a notice for a missing person. Chen Chingsui, a female primary school teacher, has been missing for three days. Miss Chen left school on the night of the 23rd. Her whereabouts are currently unknown. She was wearing a white blouse, long blue skirt, a red hairband, and was carrying a red umbrella when she disappeared. If any residents know the whereabouts of Miss Chen, please inform the office. 
Miss Chen has been missing since the 23rd of September, the day after Feng Feng's birthday. So who's been with us the entire time? In addition, we'll organize aquatic... Oh my god. Aquatic search and rescue? Swimmers and divers? And I'd like to remind everyone that there has been a lot of rain during this season. <sighs> her umbrella. There's a reason why she's carrying that umbrella with her all the time. Even when it's not raining. Oh my god. That's why the name was blacked out. That's why we never saw her face. Where do you think she went? I heard that it rained on the day she disappeared. Do you think it's possible she fell into the river? Tian's granddaughter was with Chen, was Miss Chen's student. Nothing good has happened to anyone who got close to that family. <laughs> right? People have been saying that they've received calls from Tian's daughter-in-law in the middle of the night. I also heard that the town is going to hold a memorial for Miss Chen. Why would they hold a memorial when they haven't even found the body? Miss Chen is young and single. It'd be ominous that she died away from home. If they had performed the... If they had performed the ritual earlier, the spirits wouldn't have caused so much trouble. <sighs> Kids? What are you doing? Are you here to look for Miss Chen? People have been saying that Miss Chen fell into the water and drowned. But we believe she'll come back. Grandma said if we release lanterns into the water, the people who fell in the water will follow the lanterns and find their way back. They're primary school students. She was a primary school teacher, so of course they would think this way. It's dangerous to go near the river. I'll help you release the lanterns. Okay, thank you, Mr. Officer. This is a nice little throwback to what it was earlier. <gasps> the music notes. Chad, remember the, the song, the notes that we've heard.
Chapter 6, Milky Way. <sighs> they were going to sing it for her. Yeah, it was her song. Miss Chen. Officer. What brought you here? I'm looking for you. So are many people. Sorry for worrying you all. A lot of things happened recently. My mind's a mess. All my troubles seem to disappear every time I come here. What is this place? This is an empty field behind my house. I know it's little, and I accidentally fell into the dry well when I was playing here. It was at night, and I was very scared. I had no idea how much time had passed, and I inadvertently looked up. And I saw something I never forget for my whole life. <sighs> it wasn't a marble. <laughs> it wasn't just a marble. It was... a little star. For Miss Chen was this. I seem to have forgotten my fear. I was just staring at the bright, starry sky. Then, someone dropped the rope down for me. I slowly climbed the rope. As I climbed closer to the top, my range of vision grew wider. As soon as I made it out the dry well, the entire starry sky stretched out before me. But I didn't find the person who dropped the rope down, and I didn't tell my parents about this when I got home. I thought it was just an unforgettable childhood experience that stuck with me. But after spending some time in Jingtan, I finally understood. The children here are like me when I was trapped in the well. They can only look up and see a little part of the starry sky. I want to be the one who throws the rope to them. children to go out and see the world. And this is why she fought so hard to make sure that Feng Feng's application to move out was approved. Miss <laughs> Chen, I know you want to help those children. They are also waiting for you to return. It's time. We can use this rope to climb out of here. By the way, Miss Chen, something just came to my mind. I promise you that I'd tell you how I obtained those clues when searching the Tian family case is solved. There's no need. I got the gist of it. You're different from everyone else. This could be destiny. 
you're destined to be a cop who seeks justice for the dead. Hmm. I'll try to be that person, Miss Chen. I believe in you. By the way, officer, I... I can't climb up by myself. Will you climb up there and drag me up? I'm not heavy. You can definitely do it. Mm. Oh no, it's gonna give me some twist, isn't it? see to climb up. The beautiful starry sky is drawing closer. It was so close, almost within reach. I start to understand how Miss Chen felt when she climbed up the well. I find myself wanting to share my feelings at the moment. But as I turned around, Miss Chen is gone. well, with this water reflecting this starry horizon. Where did Miss Chen go? No one knows. Maybe she went somewhere far away and will return someday. Or maybe... Maybe she's become one of the stars in the Milky Way. <sighs> You're finally awake. You fainted twice tonight. That's serious. <laughs> Say, Captain Lou, why am I here? <laughs> you even asked the same thing twice. You passed out in the bathroom. If no one had found you, you would have been lying on the floor all night. Bathroom? Was there a broken mirror with the rose in there? Yeah, there's one with the rose pattern. My speculation was right. I entered that world when I looked at the mirror of the bathroom at Tian's house. Uh, Captain is Lishan always like this? Did he bump his head? He just woke up. He's just trying to, he's still trying to figure out what happened. Oh. Hello. Hello, Captain. Zhang, I have to report her to our superiors about the case. Stay here and take care of Lishan. <laughs> Captain, are there any progress in the Tian family's case? Lishan, do you know about that case? the short hair chat like I don't know the uniform the short hair it's 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 nice okay <laughs> yes that's exactly why I went to the Tian's house to investigate that's perfect it'll save us time from explaining <laughs> basically there's a new suspect in the case what Wait, 
a new suspect? Who is it? You probably met him before. He's the doctor in the clinic, Ye Jinshan. Are there... Is there any evidence? We searched Tian's house again and discovered that some of the salt in the kitchen was laced with rat poison. The bag of salt had been resealed and barely left any traces. This can never be done in just one or two attempts. The clues led us to, a, led us to the clinic storage room. We found a large amount of similar salt packages there. It's likely that he practiced many times to ensure that the seal was intact. And Ye Jingshan had a motive for the murder. Mm. I heard about the grudge between Xiang Rong and Ye Jingshan. There's still something that doesn't make sense. Right, but there's no way to continue the investigation since the suspect is dead. What? No. Dr. Ye was alive when we left. What? She knew their tears running down her face and even like cries. Oh, hi there. Please. <laughs> thank you for the super chat, Max. Thank you. Thank you. Wait. Dr. Dr. Ye was. He was alive, right? Oh no, don't tell me Dr. Ye was also a ghost. Ye Jingshan is dead? Yeah, he was burned to death. It happened near the Tian's house. Ye Jingshan's car was completely burned. All that was left was the frame. They found a... Wait, chat. At the very beginning of the game, remember when we woke up in the clinic and Dr. Ye was like, Oh yeah, the circuit breaker must have gone out. Um, why don't you go check the car outside? I have some candles there. And then when we went to go check the candles, we also noticed that there was a lot of fireworks inside the car. I wonder. We found a body in it suspected to be Ye Jingshan. It has been delivered to Miss Song for an autopsy. Uh, how did the car catch on fire? There were a lot of fireworks in the car. Perhaps Ye Jingshan was transporting them for, from the city for someone else. We also found cigar cigarette butts? In the car? I mean, it could be literally anyone who smokes, but the only people we know in this story that smoke is... I mean, oh, cigarette butt accidentally dropped on the fireworks in night. That, that doesn't make... Yeah, Jingshan was probably smoking while driving and the cigarette butt accidentally dropped on the fireworks. That seems too silly. That seems way too silly. Jiangmin, have you checked if Ye Jingshan was a smoker? Well, he secretly smoked and was seen by several of his patients. He did smoke. I saw him do it. I was gonna say, the more you want to hide it, the more likely you are to get caught. Anyway, why did he hide the fact that he was a smoker? Hmm? The more you want to hide it, the more likely you get caught. The more you want to hide it, the more likely you'll get caught. What's wrong, Li Xin? That's... incorrect. 
There's something wrong. Li Shun? Li Shun must have thought of something. Don't disturb him. Do you want to smoke? Yeah, this is the recollection that we have. Memory of him. The very first time he met. Do you want to smoke? Oh, don't tell anyone about me smoking. I always tell the folks here to smoke less, and I can't justify it if they find out I smoke too. What? <laughs> now that I think about it, Ye Jingshan seems to have deliberately smoked in front of me. Like he was making a big show of it. Why did he pretend to smoke? Why would he pretend to smoke? Unless... We also know someone else who pretended to smoke. Someone else who pretended to smoke. Oh my god. What is this game? What is this writing? Oh my god, what the? <laughs> Uncle Wang, what am I? Why am I here? Who gave me this pack of cigarettes? Chao Juan, my leg is in pain. Will you go to the pharmacy and pick up some medicine for me? Go to the one in the west of town. Don't go to Ye's clinic. Sure. Get some rest, Mom. Don't push yourself too hard. Because we know she specifically went out to Dr. Ye's clinic even after being told not to. So the reason why she kept going to his clinic. Dr. Ye, will this plan really work? Who do you think has the most say in the Tian family after Tian Yu's death? My father-in-law. No. It's still Tian Yu. You also know that your in-laws trusted the witch very much before. But who they believe is not the witch. It's Tian Yu. This is a rare opportunity. You need to be pretend to be possessed by Tian Yu and get your in-laws trust. That way, you'll get the chance to escape with Fang Fang. Will they believe it? Michelle, did Tian Yu smoke? Yeah, he used to smoke the same brand of cigarettes as you do. I don't smoke. A patient's family member gave it to me just now. I'm just holding the cigarette in my hand, and you mistakenly thought I smoked. Apply the same principle. Do what Tian Yu did often. After a while, they'll believe that the soul summoning is working. Lastly, you'll need to mimic one key behavior to convince them that you're truly possessed. It's something you would never do. Eating the fish. I hate eating fish. I feel sick every time I smell it. I've never had a bite of fish since I married into the Tian family. But Tian Lu loved eating fish. Then, you'll slowly adapt to eating fish during this period of time. I can prescribe some anti-bobbining medicine for you. However, the medicine's efficacy is limited. 
an adaptation process will be painful. I understand. I'll do anything as long as I can get Feng Feng out of here. Li Xun, did something come to your mind? Captain Liu, Ye Jingshan's death is too strange. I don't have time to explain now. I want to take a look at his body. No problem. I'll handle things on Xin Li Sang. Tang, set up roadblocks in the main roads in town. Report to me right away if you can encounter anyone suspicious. Roger that. He's not going anywhere on my watch. Li Shen, I'll wait for the outcome. Understood, Captain. I won't let you down. The autopsy room is at the end of the hallway. Ooh, why is it so creepy looking? Are you ready to see the body trap? Here we go. Photos. Tian family crime scene photos are hanging on the wall. Explained that Tian's house was like a dream. After learning what everyone in the Tian family went through, I feel surreal looking at the way they died, as if I just woke up from a dream. There it is. Allegedly, it's supposed to be Ye Jingshan's, but we don't know for sure, do we? I'll have to check it. The charred skeleton can vaguely can be vaguely seen through the white cloth. The strong smell of fireworks greets you alongside the remaining warmth. It's as if the bones are still burning deep inside. Here we go. Who are you? Are you Chin Shin Hui? I'm Lin, uh, Li Shen. I'm new here. Whoa, hello, Doctor Song. I presume. Oh, you're the rookie who passed out during the first dispatch. Ah, uh, guess everyone knows us as the rookie who passed out during the first dispatch <laughs> never mind Zeng Ning wasn't any better when he just joined the team Captain Liu told me beforehand you want to know the body is my senior schoolmate yay yay your senior schoolmate <sighs> I used to call him like that Shin Hui you and Dr. Ye graduated from the same school. We both graduated from Shancheng Medical University. You graduated two years earlier than me. Did Dr. Ye study forensics as well? I would say he was half forensic. Well, during anatomy class, Ye found something wrong with the organ of a donated corpse that died from a heart attack. Later, the lecturer invited the head of the forensic medicine department, a renowned individual in forensic science, Professor Li Yu Chong, to perform an autopsy. After Professor Liu's autopsy, it was determined that donated corpse was killed by medicine that can cause myocardial infractions. The suspect was arrested soon after that, and Ye became the star on campus. Professor Liu hoped that Ye would work with him, Although Ye's department didn't let him go, he investigated many cases with Professor Liu. That's why Dr. Ye said that he knew a lot of cops. 
Yeah, everyone thought Ye was a rising star in the forensic field. But after graduating, he opened a small clinic in town. I heard it was because Paris didn't want to be a forensic doctor. They believed that this job would bring them bad luck. Professor Liu was also my supervisor. He seemed devastated every time this was brought up. Sorry for talking so much. It's okay. I want to know more about Dr. Ye anyway. Let's get down to business. You want to know the corpse is Ye Jingshan, right? Yes, and we need to do it as soon as possible because we're running out of time. It won't be easy because Ye Jingshan was adopted and we couldn't find his blood relatives for many years. Additionally, there are too many samples in the clinic. Analyzing them all one by one will take too long. Xinhui, there's a way to determine that in a short time. Oh? What is it? Was there anything specific about the guy? I don't know. I can't think of anything specific that would be like, oh yeah, that's obviously him, you know? I didn't expect you to know this. So... Is this method feasible? It surely is, but the bones are severely damaged. Putting bones back into their original arrangement would take a lot of work. Oh, that's right, he was attacked by the grandpa and had his ribs broken. If we can take apart the body and check out the ribs. The trainee my superior scent hasn't arrived yet. If I do this alone, it'll take a long time. Is there any other way? I was hinting that you should help me, silly. <laughs> oh my god. It is. Oh. Okay. Let's get the bones in like oh that sound effect oh I don't like that sound effect uh ah. oh the crunch chat it's the crunch ah why did they have to make it sound so juicy like that <laughs> okay, this looks like the sternum. There we go. Ugh, it's so crunchy. Hmm. Your hypothesis was right? Thanks for your hard work, Shinhei. I'll report this to Captain Liu. Mm hmm. I know it's bad news regardless of whether Dr. Ye is dead or alive. There may be hidden truths in this case. We'll definitely find him and ask him for the truth. Okay. Thanks, Li Shin. You can use the phone in the office to contact Captain Liu. Wait. We should chat before we head out. The phone is in the office. Go notify the captain quickly. Okay. I really like her hair. And the gla- Oh my god, the hair, the glasses, all of it. Uh... Hey, Captain Liu? Hey, Shin. How are things over there? Shin Hui has confirmed the body isn't Ye Jing Shan. Good. Good thing you got no good thing that you noticed something was off. You can always find clues that others can't. Just like your dad. Ugh. Again. No. I want to be my own person. Stop comparing me to my dad. We're gonna check the bus stations and tray stations. He's not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. Captain, can I ask you a favor? I wonder what the favor is. Oh, 
<laughs> Chapter 7 Incinerate. Oh, that's loud. Oh? It's Ye Jingshan? What? Wait, then what time are we in? Officer? How did you even know? How did you know it was me before I even started to talk? Almost no one knows this number. You answered the call from this number at the public phone market owned by the Tians. I guess you memorized the number back then. You're very smart, Ye Jingshan. You almost fooled everyone. But not you. If you had taken the train just now, your plan would have succeeded. So why did he hesitate then? <laughs> hey, Jingshan. We have you surrounded. I asked my superior for some time to ask you for questions alone. You got me. I have nothing to say. This isn't an interrogation. That's equal communication. Someone once taught me to exchange questions for questions. You probably also have a lot of questions for me. What's the point of doing this? I know you didn't poison the family. I don't want to pin it on the wrong person. But I also want to know why you did what you've done. I don't know what you're talking about. You've treated me as a pawn ever since I entered the clinic. You led me to investigate the Tian family case because you created a new suspect for the case. You pretended to be a smoker in front of me, so I believe that you were burnt to death in a fire due to your smoking habit. This way, Zhao Xiaojuan could be cleared of the charges and the real murderer would be burnt to death while you escaped. I answered your question. Now it's your turn to answer mine. Why did you help Xiaojuan escape the Tian family? I was trafficked here as a kid, but the townspeople are unaware of this. Barely shared this secret with people. Xiao Zhuang was trapped here, just like me. I helped her, just like helping my patients. Her illness came from this place, so leaving here was her best treatment. my turn to ask a question. How did you discover that I wasn't dead? Your plan was very thorough, but the corpse gave you away. <laughs> Which part of the body gave me away? It was his broken ribs. <laughs> Your ribs were broken by Xiao Rong. Under normal circumstances, even if your ribs had recovered, there would be fibrocartilage calluses. A forensic expert spent the whole night putting ribs together, found that the ribs didn't have any calluses. <laughs> Seems like I underestimated your forensic expert. The forensic expert was none other than the student of the famous Liu. Yu Chong. She was your schoolmate. It's my 
my turn to ask a question. Why did you try to take the blame? I thought of the worst case scenario when I helped Xiao John dis develop an escape plan. But I didn't expect that the situation would get much worse. After her death, people called her a madwoman, a psycho, a murderer, which I didn't expect either. It was my plan that killed Xiao Zhuan and Feng Feng. I should be the one to bear the charges. Dr. Ye, no one could predict the things that would go in the di no one could predict that things would go in the direction. That was just my first reason. My second reason. Since I was a child, my adoptive parents kept telling me that I was abandoned by my biological parents. My adoptive parents arranged a lot of things that I didn't want. I never resisted. I wanted to repay them for the act for the kind act of nurturing me. They didn't tell me the truth until they were on their deathbeds. They'd been deceiving me their whole life. After they passed away, I didn't shed a tear, nor did I feel relieved. The name Ye Jing Shan still traps me here. I wanted this name to bear all the charge, and I'll start a new life with a new identity. Any other reasons? <laughs> that counts as another question. It's my turn to ask. I left you with the question during our first call. How did you find these clues? We might as well come up. You might as well be... <laughs> I can communicate with the dead. I'm not sure if you'll believe the story if we tell them this, though. There's a saying in the field of forensics that forensics is a profession that can communicate with the dead. Yeah, but that's just an analogy. I can also communicate with the dead. I can see into their past. I know secrets only the dead know. Hmm. Perhaps this unreasonable answer is the most reasonable. Can you continue to answer that question now? The last reason. Leaving Qingtan was Xiao Chuan's will and her expectation of me. On the day of the incident, she came to the clinic to buy medicine. Dr. Ye, do you have any Kangjian brand's cough medicine? I happen to restock a batch recently. I'll get it back for you. Thank you. Oh, Dr. Ye, Feng Feng and I will leave Qingtan next month. I come to say goodbye. I don't know if we'll have a chance to meet again in the future. Miss Yao, the last step of the plan is that you have to go somewhere even I won't be able to find. The ideal scenario is not to meet up again. However, if we are distant, if we are destined to meet again, maybe you will meet somewhere in the world. Hmm. Oh, a while ago, my father-in-law won four cruise tickets. My in-laws don't want to travel far, so I gave one to Miss Chen. I wish to give the last one to you. You've been in town for such a long time, you should go out and relax. Hmm. 
Dr. Ye, the infusion bottle is almost empty. Okay, I'll change it right away. I'm sorry. It's autumn and there are many patients in the clinic. I'm overwhelmed. Miss Yao, thank you for your kindness, but... It's okay. I'll reserve it for you. Tell me if you want to go one day. <sighs> sure. Thank you. <laughs> she was a respectable person. She's not only saving herself, but me as well. I didn't understand it at the time, but it was too late when I did. After she died, I told myself I should try to leave. She wouldn't want you to leave in this way. But I'm the type of person that can't be moved without being pushed. And when I finally decided to move forward, I realized I was still trapped. You obviously had the opportunity to get in the train before I showed up. Officer Lin, do you see the mountains ahead? Oh. They're like piled up ashes. When I stare at them, I feel an indescribable confusion and fear. Maybe they're just lifeless masses. Maybe they're just a mass of lifeless ashes. Or maybe they're still smoldering inside. I feel as if I can see my biological parents. Their figures are vague. They are wandering through the mountains like ghosts. Their mouths are open, and they're calling out. Maybe calling my name. But I've forgotten my original name long ago. I didn't understand it until then. But I'm homeless. There isn't any place for me in the world. A home that was once warm. People who can accompany me have been buried in these mountains of ashes. <laughs> Dr. Ye, do you have any questions? I have no more questions. I only have one request. Officer Lin, please forget the conversation that just happened. I'm the criminal who killed three Tian family members and caused Xiao Chuan to commit suicide. desecration of a human corpse. You are under arrest in accordance with the law. <sighs> After reinvestigation, the police discovered Ye Jingshan falsified the evidence of him killing the Tian family. The identity of the burned corpse was also confirmed. It was Wang Jingkai, 
the owner of the small store. Ye Jingshan was prosecuted for arson, desecration of a human corpse, and falsifying evidence. The Tian family murder case was back to its original state. The case was closed again. Actually, I still have one more question for Ye Jingshan. I want to know if another person was involved in his plan. I don't think he'll answer this question. I also have my own answer. And I'll keep this answer in my heart forever. They should. What do you see this time? There's nothing but blank white space. Where is the hearse carrying your father? I didn't continue to chase the hearse. I stopped and watched it until it disappeared from my sight. Why didn't you chase it? I just saw the miseries in this world. I also saw souls struggling painfully in it. I shouldn't have chased after my dad's honor and glory. There are still people suffering at the bottom of the dark abyss. That's where I should go. Thank you for reaping the membership. There are people still down at the bottom of the black abyss. And we need to go to them. A few days ago, someone found this letter downstream. It's completely damaged after being soaked in water. To Qinghe Head Times Editorial Office, Qinghe City, was written on the envelope. It was signed by Chen Qingsui. <sighs> the letter is soaked and damaged. It's impossible to read what was written. We speculate, based on the fragmentary content, that this is a resignation letter. Miss Chen probably wanted to quit her job at the press and stay here. And stay here to continue teaching. However, the letter didn't make it to its destination. Oh. Huh? Hey, what is that?
Miss Chen's funeral is being held in town today. According to the custom here, there'll be fireworks at the funeral. People believe fireworks can help missing souls find their way. This is a funeral without the body of the deceased. It sounds absurd. But if we spend two, three, five, ten years looking for Miss Chen, who would hold a funeral for her by then? Will anyone remember her? Do you think Miss Chen can hear the singing? Because the students did promise that they would sing the song for her. Let's hope that she can hear it. to blow my nose. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. I thought it was gonna be some like a few like point and click puzzles and stuff. I didn't realize it would be it'd be so emotional like this. Thank you for playing the game. It's you for the stability of your night time. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing. Hearing children makes me Hearing singing children makes it cry every time. It hits different. It really does. How many horror games have you went into to come out crying this month? I don't know. Too many. Too many. But this is like. Oh my god. No, for real though, I don't know where, I don't know how this happens, but there's so many horror games out there that we played that are not just scary, but they also are like emotionally traumatizing, and I don't know how we keep fighting these, but I don't mind it. I like it. It's been amazing. 
And if we didn't have these, then we wouldn't have been able to experience all these amazing stories. We set up for horror and laughs that come up with only pain and suffering. <laughs> yeah. Horror and sorrow seem to come hand in hand. They really do, don't they? I used to thank my family and friends who offer me generous help. Thanks to all the streamers and the developers and players. I hope you find something valuable in this journey. Aww. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, chat. <laughs> Thinking with the super chat. Having Crowley's the sense of space for the unbound. What a game on writing. This chat with the stars and the bird like skylight are really sticky with me. Yeah. There was. There was so much there. Like, even the small. Like, oh my god, that photo. The photo. Oh. That one broke me at the end. Keisha, I think I put the super chat. It's like the most random thing too. You get transported into the different world and or like a different like the spirit realm or whatever. And then like a machine just snaps a photo and you're like, oh, haha, silly funny machine, right? And then you don't think about it. And at the very end, they bring it back and I just oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, that was amazing. That was amazing, Chad. Ah. I need like I need time I need time to sit down and process this because that was amazing <laughs> god I love horror games maybe you know, they hit a lot of they hit us with things that they hope we forget right just the smallest things like the little details <laughs> like the whole like talking about how the guy broke his ribs when he was attacked and then like it doesn't come back up until the very end when it's like wait we can do an autopsy in the body and determine that but like that's so good you know that was amazing <laughs> i was actually hoping that it would be like a cup like a quick thing but it ended up being another six hour long stream <laughs> traumatized and amazing yeah Ah, oh, now we wait for Sanfu to get translated. It's a game of Doctor Bef It's a good game of Doctor before Chita. Oh. Thank you a lot for playing it, of course. It was my pleasure to play it. Reminds me of Gamma's The Orphanage. Ooh. As the game it delivers, the story doesn't feel convoluted and confusing despite being supernatural themed to it. It was very confusing, but I think it did a very good job of wrapping up almost every single one of the loose ends out there, or at least the, the big glaring loose ends. <laughs> was a phenomenal experience to share with the gang here. Yeah, I was so into the plot I didn't realize it was six hours. Me neither. I was really tired and exhausted at the beginning, but then like all the turns and the plot twists kept like adding up and I was like, wait a minute. Wait, now I'm invested. And now I'm like, I, I need to find out what happens. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the super chat. I apologize, I cannot read the name. The ending song, Farewell, frequently played during graduation. I'm sure there's an English version. Good song. Thank you, thank you. And there probably is some kind of a translation for that too. Yeah. Thank you so much. Ah. Uh, wrapping up nicely as a social media conclusion. Me getting confused midway as I dare deep into the is the point. Yeah, that's always fun to do. That's very shinry. <laughs> Uh, okay I have to hydrate I cried so much this game and that last the uh, like I, I ran out of tears like I could feel my my tear ducts like like swelling up in preparation to make more tears and then just nothing would come out I'm like hmm probably like use up all of it there <laughs> 
I have to hydrate, I have to get some food now. That was exhausting, but oh my god, that was so worth it. I got my hearts ripped out and put back in, so, so amazing it really was. Now everyone gets to go out and share how amazing this game is, have other people try it out and play it too. I was gonna go shopping now, I need a minute to before I can go. <laughs> yeah. It's the type of cry that had a knot in my throat as I cried. I tried really hard to avoid that, because I get the same thing too. Um, when I have like a really big cry, I get that knot in my throat. Uh, in my throat and it becomes very difficult to talk and I can't read things out loud so I have to like force myself to be like yes it's sad but you also have to to read out the the dialogue <laughs> uh, if I were just playing this on my own and I weren't streaming it I would be like ugly crying right now I would be ugly crying and then just vague tweeting on Twitter about how much I love the story. <laughs> Just wanted to sleep and now I spent the entire time crying. Maybe the exhaustion will help carry us to sleep because we've used up so much energy crying that we'll be tired now. <sighs> oh. Alright chat. I think we're going to go ahead and call it here for today. Don't leave me the others feeling if you're yeah, it does. It does. It does. It's incredible. It's very engaging to see. I give the game that. That's fair. That's fair. The fact whether or not you cry doesn't, you know, make make or break a game. It just means that it ha the experience resonated well with you. You know, one way or the other. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna call it here. But chat, thank you all for stopping by. I'll have a new schedule out tomorrow. Um, if I had to be completely honest, I might most likely just skip the morning Zatsudan again for Monday and just do an evening stream. Um, and then we'll do like a longer morning Zatsu on Friday because I don't know if I'll be able to get some sleep with this. Like my, I'm, I know with this game, my brain's going to be like spitting in circles and I won't be able to sleep until like 3, 4 p.m. <laughs> So yeah, I'll see you on Monday for the evening stream. But again, as a reminder, Tuesday is um, off because I have a uh, impromptu meeting or like a surprise meeting that came up. All right, chat. Thank you all for stopping by. And oh, since since they're here, uh, I want to give a, a little shout out. I believe this one was specifically recommended by Juju. So thank you so much for the recommendation. It was really great really had a amazing time with the game so thank you for the recommendations i really appreciate all the recommendations the quest give so thank you thank you all right chat i will see you all tomorrow koyasumi everybody koyasumi oh wait the music is still going on <laughs> there we go all right chat um, as a little reminder, I, I really love sharing these, like, these stories, the games, especially indie games, especially, like, 100% especially indie games. I love sharing these stories, and I love just going through what kind of tale they all have to share with each other. And if you have any recommendations like these, please send them my way. I absolutely love these stories i absolutely love going through them and being able to experience something that maybe not a lot of people would be able to experience because you know the either the game flies under their radar or maybe because it's horror people don't want to try it out um so i would like to be the type to kind of act as a little bouncing board jumping board springboard i forget what the word is but like a way to show people like hey there are really cool, amazing stories out there. Even if they are a little spooky. <laughs> so I look forward to all the recommendations. I really appreciate them. If you can toss them into the comments, I would very much appreciate so I can go back and check them on those. But anyway. All right. I'm going to send you over to... Uh, it looks like the boys are still streaming Minecraft. So I'm going to send you over to Ruse's channel. 
Have a wonderful time over at Ruse's channel chat. Enjoy their Minecraft sessions, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Koyasumi.